all gamers, welcome to Board Game Battle with Glory Hound and... Dr. Glory Hog. <laughs> How are you guys doing today? So today we're going to be playing Reich Busters. Not of this earth. I'm excited to follow up with this because we played a lot of the original Reich Busters campaign and... To our surprise, this one plays completely different. Well, not completely different, but it does play quite differently than the original campaign. Right. I thought, oh, it'll just be a quick rules refresh since it's been like a month or two. And so I'm going through it. I'm like, oh, that's different. That's different. That's different. Okay. And it's just, it seems vastly different. So that's exciting. And then we will also be fighting mostly aliens. Like there's going to be right. Little bits of like soldiers and stuff like that, and some, what scientists and stuff in there. But alien as far handlers. as yeah, as far as the main group of baddies in this, it, it will be aliens, and we have a little bit more of like a fog of war, which is really interesting as well. So I was excited to see that change, and oh, and the alarm. We we don't have to like compete against the alarm anymore. So if you're not super excited about competing against that alarm, you do have a round marker that we have to go down, but we don't have the thing where it gets insanely crazy and we just get rushed by people. It's a little bit more, I, I would say it's a little bit more dungeon crawly and not as overwhelming maybe. Uh, well, based off the amount of miniatures I had to pull out for this, it can be very overwhelming. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, maybe I'm I mean, just completely wrong. We're talking wrong. <laughs> like 50 plus miniatures for a four by four grid. Maybe I'm completely wrong, but I do if feel like- If you got like... all 50 of those miniatures out on this four by four, they're yeah. gonna be a little bit, a little tight. Yeah. Well, you know, in Rush Busters, it's a little different battle The cry. excitement, though, is like, it's here, and you're like, yeah, we're doing good. And we're like, oh, gosh, oh, no, oh, no. And then you're like, oh, okay, we're doing okay, okay. Oh, no, 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 we're not doing okay anymore. <laughs> right. So I'm excited to see how all of this plays out with this. I'm really excited. Okay. And let's see here. We do have Battle Cry in chat today. How are you doing, Battle Cry? So what you're saying, it's different. It's yes and no. <laughs> yes and no. <laughs> Did you want me to go over the story so far? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so for those of you that watched last time and are familiar, Reich Busters is all about a world where you're going in and you're fighting Nazis, right? You're an elite team from the Allied forces from all the different countries. You're going in fighting Nazis, but they're not regular Nazis. They're Nazis with science that are also doing like weird experiments. Science which Nazis. actually happened in real life too. Um, so it's kind of like a weird take, um, like a weird science take on World War II. What's interesting about this one is on our last playthrough, um, you saw us like rescue somebody and then look for his comrades, right? And we, we succeeded. Then we continued playing the story after that. And as we played the story after that, we ended up finding a scientist that was willing to defect and actually join our side and give us information and basically spill the beans on all the other scientists and all the different experiments. So as we made our way through, we got to the very end of it and we triggered a catastrophic explosion. So that wiped out that scientist and our whole team. So at this point in time, General Gloryhound is back at Reichbusters HQ, has had no contact with the original <laughs> Reichbusters team, doesn't know what happens to him, gets some video surveillance, and all they can see is this portal. It's the only thing that's still standing. It's the only thing that's still standing amongst all the rubble. No communication, no Reichbusters, this is it. Just flattened ground and then this portal. It's a man-made portal of some type, origin unknown. So what Gloryhound has decided to do is send in another team of Reichbusters to go in and figure out what happened to the original team. And that's kind of where we're starting. This original, this new team of Reichbusters, which is uh, Bachika, Bjorn, the professor, and Irene, are now going in through this portal to figure out what happened to the other team. This kind of reminds me of like the Stargate a little bit, or at least the beginnings of a Stargate, right? Yeah, that, there you go, Battle Cry says <laughs> yeah. the same thing, Stargate. <laughs> that's what I'm talking about, Battle Cry. <laughs> All right, where are my people at? Okay, here are my people. So, my people over here, I have the professor who has a genius skill. So, because obviously they're a professor, they're a scientist here. And we have a knife on here and then a little gun. I feel like you should have had the professor Pistol. and Mary Ann should have been your second oh. character. It would have been perfect. <laughs> professor no, no. and Mary Ann, <laughs> here on Reichbuster Isle. But I think that it's really interesting because these characters, are, they're not... Like from the original, original set. No, these so. are stretch goal and expansion characters. So it's right. all new characters. So it's completely different than what we played last time. And they play really uniquely. Like this professor is all about going through their cards and trying to get the car the, the best cards for the best situation. Right. Where Irina is all about like 
these spurts of of actually silent uh, attacks, you know, because she is able to do attacks without causing a whole bunch of noise, which is huge in the game. I mean, you don't want to cause any noise as you're going through That's these true. tunnels. Yeah, you Captain don't want to alert everyone. did not make it, unfortunately. We, yeah, we made sure to get rid of Sarge, so he's not just clunk, Whoa. clunk, 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 clunk through the tunnels like, hey guys, what's up down there? Listen, Sarge <laughs> pulled his weight, okay? And then I have Bjorn, who, of course, is going to be your axe-wielding berserker. Right, his only goal is to get to Valhalla, so he's got to die in battle. And then I have Bo Bochaka, and I have no idea how to actually say the name, but I'm going to say Bochaka for right now. And Bochaka actually has a mechanical arm, so he's an engineer, um, machinist, and he's actually built himself this mechanical arm that can like pierce through metal, right? So he can like Iron Man his way through like metal bots. <laughs> if the professor can't make stuff out of coconuts and bamboo, I'm out. I'm out. Well, it'll have to be alien bamboo and alien coconuts, okay, Battle Cry, because we're not necessarily on Earth at this point. <laughs> right. So as soon as we step through the portal, we can tell we're in a completely different world or parallel world, or we don't actually know. It's like this. But we this is go through the portal. <laughs> very much a like a living organism that we are inside of. All right. So what I guess creepy, do, we, creepy do I want to go first? Do I want to go first? Uh, if you dare. If I, mean, I dare, that's wow, you. that's not encouraging at all. Thanks. <laughs> I'm going to move Irina first here. And we're going to come in here. We have two actions. One, I'm doing the move. Then, because, oh, this is the really cool part about the fog of war in this, okay? I can only see tiles, and tiles can only spawn that are adjacent to me. So up, down, left, and right to me. So these two are actually going to spawn up before I start my next move. There's nothing in here. I get to see what this is, right? Right, you would actually see it before you move in there. So that one is, is that the it's tunnel? It's a portal. Yeah, it's a little tunnel. All right, so what she has found is a tunnel dug into the wall that could potentially be crawled through if we think that it crawling through it would lead to somewhere else. We and don't actually know at this point. These two immediately become suspicious. Right. And spawn. So I have the suspicious tokens. You have all the spawn cards. Oh, my goodness. I do have all the spawn cards over here. It looks like we get two soldiers. You always have to have your generic soldiers. We have a lot of them. And then two soldiers and an Augen. So like that and that? Or yeah, two soldiers way. here and then two soldiers and an Augen. Which is bad because as you guys remember that uh, they actually gang up on people. So yeah, the soldiers get more powerful with the more support that they have. And here is one of the new figures, an alien. This alien's actually kind of cute for it being like a creepy little alien here. He's actually pretty dang cute. Look at him. Look at him. He's just a little guy. He's just a little guy. He has a lot of eyes. His name is Algen. I bet we can make <laughs> stuff out of them, like out of their bodies. You think so? Yeah, I'm he sure. Looks, I mean, you could use these bones for something, I'm sure. And just as an update, <laughs> there has been a big change to the rule book and a yes. lot of erratica, or errata, however you would say. Errata, just, yeah. And changes. So we're, we're probably somewhere in the middle where we've read through that, but then we also remember the old way. So, you know, we're here to have fun. <laughs> We're here to bust some rikes. Yeah. And chew bubblegum. But yeah. I forgot to bring bubblegum. All right, I'm going to start. I'm going to attack over here, I think. But I'm going to attack using my card. I'm not going to use my second action to go ahead and attack. I'm going to attack using okay. my card. I'm going to make a ranged attack on two enemies here, okay? I'm going to be using this gun over here, which I believe this is the one that has precise on it, which yes. all attacks, even if I roll blanks, like I get to add a hit with that. How many die do you need? I'm going to need two dice. Okay. And let's see. What else do I want to add to this? What else do I want to add? I think I'm going to do this one as well. Are you attacking soldiers or the alien? I'm going to attack... I'm going to attack the alien, I think. The Algen? What did you say? That was the Algen? eye? The eye. Algen? The Algen is eye in German, so... And he's an eyeball-y looking monster. Like, not only are they causing trouble, like, across the world, then the, then the uh, Germans also get to name all the aliens? That seems unfair. <laughs> Well, in this game, they do. And I'm going to get one extra die because I want to roll more dice. Give me them dice. Hopefully, I get good rolls. I hope I get good, good rolls this time. And if you have any questions as far as, like, where we can go and where we can't, like, at this point in time, we can come up here. We can go this way and down. Oh, yeah. This way and down. Or up and around this way or up and around this way. And the point of this mission, and that's also a dead end, is to actually find more information on 
where where we are. So we're trying to get to these dossier tokens here to find out more information. Two of them are going to be fake. One of them is going to be real. We need to get the real information, the real dossier, and get out. There's another point I was going to make, but I can't even remember right now. I'm just excited. I'm just excited. Well, crap. Well, your blanks <laughs> count as one, the so you're at four. One. I'm at four. That is not helpful. Because I think the Algon has at least a five, right? Mm -hmm. Correct. Yeah, you have to do a five. Yeah, a five to kill it. And we actually have another token you would see up here, this alien area, which I'm going to look up because I did not pre-look these up. I wanted to be surprised with what these weird alien tokens I'm going to add two do. more dice. All right, so up here we have alien web. So heroes cannot use basic move actions in this area. So the only way to get through that area is by you... using cards. Oh, so you you, if you use... had a move, you would have to go and move through with a card? Yep. That's terrible. All right, there we go. Hey, thong, alien thong, web. It happens. Thong, thong, that kills that alien. Holy. You added like a whole other card? I know. Well, I had to add two because I didn't want to miss them because... So you have three, four, five, real, six, real seven, bad. eight. Now, real, remember real, we real talked bad. about with... I also which... have dual wielding, too. But you need like one more because you need to do nine damage to kill two people. Ugh, three, six, <laughs> seven, eight. Yes, yes. Well. So you won't be able to use dual wield. Crap. With dual wield, she can actually, <laughs> if she basically, if she goes and does like an, a huge overkill, she can shoot two people at once and, and take out an extra enemy without having to use a special card board or anything. Okay. Which is part of her silence pistols. But the crazy thing is all that, and then did you even oh, make any noise? Oh, but this is on two enemy units. No, I didn't. Oh, well, you know, I, I got a... No, I didn't make any noise. I, this is make a ranged attack on two enemy units. Okay, so that's the so first I can, one. I can do that one, and then I can make another an attack here. Do it. I'm going to make away. another attack. Well, that was nice. That'll be helpful. So with these special star ones, you get an automatic two, and then you can use them to activate abilities, like you have deadly. So six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and I do have deadly, and I have dual wielding. So I'm able to get rid of both of these people. Very easily. Yeah. And with deadly, once per an attack, I can add three. I don't necessarily want to do that. So I have the two and two. You can also use those stars to make them drop loot. Yes, that's what I want to do. I want to make them drop loot. That's the big thing. So I want to just re... Dual wield, and then I want them both to drop loot for those stars. You got yourself some... I want some fat loot! Oh, that's right. And so one of the new rules is they actually drop face up. Which is super nice. Which means you don't have to roll noise tokens to get it. And also, when you go into a room that has a bunch of different items, you just do a one-time two-die noise test, and then all of them get flipped over. So that time you spend looking around, it actually flips all of them. Which is very, very good. So I finished those ones, and then these actually are discarded, which I'm going to like use all of my cards right away, apparently. Hey, a buster these is a buster discarded. there, Vincent. <laughs> these could be Ghostbusters. We don't know. We don't know what these alien life forms are all about. Well, that's true. This one here, after I wound an enemy unit, make an attack on an enemy unit. I could have probably used that in the begin with. Rather than the other card. You think, still maybe. killed three people. That's not necessarily bad. And all you've done is move so far. So you still have like a whole nother action. Remember, you only get one card back at the end of this turn. Like after we all go, you'll get one card to refresh your hand. What are you trying to say, Dr. Glory Hog? <laughs> that I shouldn't use all my cards in one place? So one of the <laughs> one of the basic actions you can do is actually to um, draw two cards. I can still attack. Cards. Right. I can still attack. I think I'll... Or you can use that action to draw two cards if you'd like. Are you trying to tell me I should draw two cards if I if I like? No, I'm just trying to give you all of your options, just okay. in case. It's easy to get, like, focus on, like, taking out all the enemies that I forget, like, the different things I can actually do sometimes. So this would technically be flipped this way. Now, unlike the other game, this will not stay flipped. It will not stay cleared. As soon as we leave this area and we no longer have line of sight on it, since we only have little flashlights and we can only see, like, one space away and our own square, it gets flipped back over and is now a potential spot where enemy patrols can spawn. Now these two, they're not going to make our track go down because they're not alert. And they're right. not going to get alert they're until the end of their your turn. turn. Yeah. Right. So actually, I think I'm just going to go ahead and search. Okay. So you're going to do a two-die search? Because I want to pick something up. So she's doing the noise test now to see what's out there. Woo! Four, huh? That's not good. 
All right, so you've got the noise cards also, so you got to grab a noise, noise card. Noise, 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 noise. Nope. That's wounds. There you go. All right. Reroll one blank. An enemy patrol appears from the darkness. It is at ease. Okay. So and enemy that would patrol. be a four. So. so the closest spot would either be this is one space away. Uh, this would be one space away. This would be one space away. So Let's you have your do option. This one over here. And actually, just give me the tokens. So you get the two green tokens like this. And since it's out of. Like we can't see, we're still in the fog. We just put the green tokens there. Oh, you want the. Okay. That's what you're saying. The ones? Yep, exactly. So two ones. I'm glad I brought those. I didn't think I'd be using those. All right. That makes so sense. So you don't actually put the figures on there. You don't yet. put the figures on there yet because since we're in this fog here, they. We can't actually see those over there, but now we, there's two of those over there. I call this fog darkness. Now, you're a professor, so you might have more knowledge, <laughs> but I call darkness the darkness. I am going to take this lovely token right here, which gives me three automatic defense for my shield here. I'm super excited about that. So you just like picked up like some riot type gear? Uh, Yeah, you know, because okay. I feel a little rioty. Okay. <laughs> All right, Dr. Glory Hog, what would you like to do? I think I am going to use Bjorn. And for Bjorn, I'm going to start off with, okay, so I can move one, draw one. Um, I can move one and attack. I can move one, make an attack on each enemy unit in line of sight on your tile or discard up to three of your permanent wounds. Now, since your turn ended, we would do the enemy turn. Yes. So for the enemy turn, these guys would go from being suspicious to now they are alerted because they've just seen you murder up their friends and they're like, uh, dude, not cool. Right, first we always check to make sure to see if they are Massive Darkness is a sound of a game that we have. And, <laughs> and they're doing a second Massive Darkness. Come on, I uh, just announced it. First, we check to see if they're alert. If they are alert, then we move this token down right. here. And then any alert enemies are going to move, and then they're going to attack. And then after that, then they are going to change from any sort of suspicious is going to go to alert at that point. So we do have like that one round to actually be okay with before anything happens. I like this. Like he's got like this silent weapon, right? But if you use like Valhalla weights, you know how he's like, he's all like in this pose. He goes in there. He's just like, Valhalla wait. He just runs in there screaming for like no reason. <laughs> I have no idea why he does this. Bjorn, you fool. Battle Cry can't wait for Massive Darkness, too. You really liked Massive Darkness, huh? We got, like, the whole set for it. We got that a lot of it. That is sadly on our, our shelf of opportunity. Yeah, we, we were backing pretty much everything come on at the time. And with the, <laughs> the, with the rate of things that were coming out, we just couldn't get to all of them. And so it just sits there like this huge thing of, like, wow, uh, we need to play this someday. Vincent says that his wallet has divorced him already. <laughs> we that's, feel you. <laughs> that's true. We feel you. All right, so he's going to go in here. So I'm going to go ahead and do a basic move of one, and then I'm going to use the hollow weights. And so he's just going to go screaming in here, because he does. He just moves in, and he makes an attack on everybody in this spot here. And he's just like, what, what would he yell? What do you think he would yell? Something like, come meet Odin's son. And go charging in there, something along those lines. I guess. I mean, I don't know how popular Odin was back when the Nazis were around. I don't know if that was very popular. I don't know. Well, Bjorn would care. I mean, Bjorn he, would care. You're right. Bjorn would care. I mean, his cards are like Battle Lust, Valkyrie, Bahala Waits. I'm pretty sure you know you'd what? care he's about pretty Odin. Much, he's pretty much a Norse god. I mean... I'm gonna, well, I mean, he is ripped. <laughs> All right, so I can go ahead and do an attack on everybody in my area, which means I can do a two-die <gasps> attack. So I'm going to start off by doing that on this soldier here. And now I'm really curious, three. Battle Cry. We're going to have to go back and play it. That will not kill them, though, right? Because they have a four soldiers, correct? Yeah, there are four. So I do definitely want to kill yeah, them. Yeah, soldiers are four. Now, I have lethal. So lethal is maybe roll each blank. I don't have a blank. Okay, so I'm going to have to modify. Boy, I do not want to have to modify for just one. But I don't think I really have a choice. We gotta get in here and we gotta start getting these I people know. out of here. I hate just burning through cards though. Right, I'll use this to modify. So that would do an extra three. And then I discard it. So that would kill this soldier here. Okay. And then I get to make another attack. Get to reroll this one. That's good. There we Aww, go. Aw, 
Oh yeah, that's what so I that's, like to see. That's five. It's an it's an instant kill to that character, and I can make him drop loot. So I'm that's gonna make what I like to see. Drop loot. Now, since I'm here, we this, do spawn that. Yeah, yes. I was gonna say I'm in line of sight of that, which will be interesting. This is interesting. Okay. All right. What do we get? All right. So we got a officer there and. Two alien handl handlers. Okay. So the alien handlers are pretty sweet. They got like these giant like drill guns. And an officer, you say, huh? What what requirements do you think that someone would have to have to be, be have like an alien handling degree, right? I mean... I don't think it's actually that much, <laughs> to be honest with Battle you. Kai also is wondering why we haven't just asked them politely to leave. Which... To be fair, I don't know. I don't know. We should have. I'm always like, not right. There we go. So there's the <laughs> alien handlers there with their crazy, like, drill laser guns. You're going to get better at, at that, Dr. Gordon. I don't know what they're doing with these things. I think they're just, I, they're are they drilling. Zapping? Like, you do. I don't know. It looks like a little rotini, like, noodle. I just, I feel like I could eat it. These officers always look so freaking smug, too. I always <laughs> just want to smack <laughs> them around. <laughs> right? Don't they look smug? Let's see. So they would become suspicious. They do come become suspicious. They're like, huh? I thought I heard something over there. Giant corkscrews, exactly. <laughs> so the officers do something, though, right? Don't they like? They usually can act? only can't be attacked without um, attacking all the soldiers first. Okay. So there's some combinations there. I'll go over it once we get to it. Okay. At this point, I don't have any cards that are really going to help me. I can go in there and I can attack once, but I don't think it's worth getting into melee range to attack one time. Do you? Are they melee range or are they... I know the alien handlers, they can't attack. No, they are melee. No, you know what? They are melee, They but they can't shoot. That's the thing. So you want to stay yeah. out of range of those. Right. I'd rather just have the officer shoot me if yeah. that's the case. Well, hopefully miss me. We'd rather have the officer miss you, yes. <laughs> it looks like the old Flash Gordon baddies. <laughs> the minis in this set are very interesting. So I'm going to show you some of the character ones, too. Like, it just looks really cool. This guy's he's sitting on, like, a little oil barrel. And this is the one with the mechanical arm, which is probably hard to see for you guys. But the in person, the mechanical arm looks really cool. I have a quick question for you. Yes. Which ones did you spawn? Which alien handlers? Because there are two different ones. For the alien handlers, it was F, which is the white one. What uh, what abilities do they have? Die, the die? They have the Augen handler and encourage. What are they? So no, they have the declinging. Declinging handlers. Oh, declining handler. Declining. All right. So for the declining handler, when spawning this unit, spawn one declining in the same area. Oh no! What? That's why I was asking because they're either because since they're handlers, they're either going to have the little no. ones or the other ones. No. So now there's five <laughs> there. That's why there was only three people there because it's actually five people. Okay, there. so tentacle wrangler should be what every what zoologist yeah is that takes care of octopi. Like absolutely, one hundred percent. Those should be. Tentacle wranglers or anything with any sort of tentacle, really. Cuddle, what is it? Cuddlefish, squid. What else has tentacles? So they add their support to all the different um, animal or all the different aliens in the space that have no hands, which these people have no hands. And they spit, ooh, they spit acid? Huh. Well, this is, this is going to be fun times real soon, guys. This is going to be real fun times real fast, everyone. So the big thing about him. The officer by himself, he's a coward. So he'll try to move. He will not move into this right. space with him. But and if he has and backup, he'll try to run if he can. He's like, what's up? And then he'd get bonuses if he was at a guard point. Point. I feel like the little tiny aliens would be up front, and then the ringlers would be over here, and this guy and would be And the little back aliens, here. they they cannot be targeted while there's an enemy unit without elusive in the area. So I'd have to kill the officers and the handlers first. Ugh. And uh, then they have acid, so items may not be Ooh. used on defense test against this unit's range attack. So, like, your shield would not be able to be used against this. Ah. Uh, because they spit acid. I am not a fan right now. <laughs> the cultist tentacle... Uh, aren't cultist tentacle wranglers in Cthulhu games? 100% yes. Absolutely. 
cultists would be tentacle ring. I bet you the Jamaican vodka team would have no problem with this because they would just cruise in and just smash them would all. Would they? Yeah. <laughs> all right, who do we want to go first now that you caused a, but a ruckus? Do you have any moves left or anything? Like, do you, can you pick up anything? Yeah, or? I can. I can either do a noise test to, which actually I still even do my my noise test. Like noise, so much noise, stuff is noise, happening. Noise. Let me do my regular noise test here before I decide to push my luck. Oh, that's probably nice. That's five? probably fine. That's probably, probably fine. What we got? Uh, let's see here. Add one die to your total. And the thing is four. And it is four. Yeah, so I've already An got enemy it. enemy patrol appears from the darkness. It is suspicious. Okay. That's the best part is just talking about all the suspicious characters walking around. <laughs> so if all I'm right. here, it can't be here or there. It can't be here. So it would either be up here, because that's one, two away, yeah. or it'd be down here. <laughs> I guess. I'm going to say maybe down here would be better, because I don't want to like have too many people in one spot, maybe. I don't know. I thought this was going well, but I don't feel like it's going well anymore. So for my, my last action, I'm just going to draw two cards and see if there's anything in here. So move one to make a plus two melee attack, which is good. Discard one of your permanent wounds. So I've got a lot of stuff that'll give me shield, which is good at least. Do you think it's worth trying to go in there and like make a? I could uh, discard one of your permanent wounds and make a plus one melee attack. I can go in and do more attacks, but it is super noisy when I do it because I use Ragnarok or Tell No Lies. I'm just gonna chill out here. I think this is fine. <laughs> That's probably fine. So we go That's to fine. It's fine. So enemy turn. What happens now? These ones that were suspicious are now. Nope. So first we go ahead and check to see if there's anybody that's alert. And if anybody is alert, then we would move this track right. here, which, which makes the have. game less. If we lose once it gets to zero. Then anybody who is alert would then move. Then anybody who's alert would attack. And now then you can go ahead and change that to being alert. So we got to get somebody in there and fighting them like this turn. Right. Which no matter what we do, they are going to probably end up attacking unless you can go and wipe out five people, I think. I don't think I can wipe out a bunch of people. And here's the really big problem, too, is you're like, these people are like three in or two in. You have to have two movements, and I can only move one. And then you have to have a card to move another one. So you, somebody has to have a card that has move on it. Does Professor has, Professor has both range and what? Well, do you think I should go for some attacks? Well, then? even then, you have to get around the corner. Like, oh, my Professor can only move into this room. Right. No, I know you have to use cards to do it, but I'm saying, is it worth it to for me to try to go in there and at least try to kill, like, one or two people then? Just burn through cards? Because I have cards that would let me move in there and attack. With Bjorn? Yeah. So we'd have to back up one? Well, we would just flip this over. That okay. would be the difference. Do you think it's worth it? If your other person can't do anything, because you are in this weird corner here where I'm not going to be able to reach them with my other person. All right, I'll go in then. All right, so I'm going to move one and make a plus two melee attack. So I'm just going to, I just don't like burning through all the different stuff here. So that's going to be a two die for that. So I'm going to move one and make a plus two. Are you moving into this place? Yeah, with I have to. Okay. All right, so what the deal here is I can't attack the Dyclinin. I can go for the alien handlers or the officer. I guess the alien handlers are probably the biggest threat, right? Yikes. But they only have three. I'm probably going to definitely kill them. I hope one. so. What's that? Did you hear anything? A whisper from the dark. Nothing to see here. Move along. Move along, little handlers. <laughs> Yikes. I think my rage isn't going to help me. This is the part I really still. like about this game, is the fact that everything seems fine, and then suddenly everything is not fine, and then suddenly everything becomes fine. Like, it's a very back and forth. It's... Going between that level of, oh, crap, this is not good, and then going, oh, thank goodness. Thank so, goodness. So I definitely kill this guy. All right. I mean, I did like eight to him. So he's done. And then I'd have to make my two noise attack because I had to do that for this one. Woo! Okay, so that's already There's some a noise. four. You know what? Five, six, seven, eight. I rolled an eight. I'm going to say that Dr. Glory Hog should not roll the noise tokens. Should not be rolling the noise tokens in this game. <laughs> Sounds like 2020. That is 100% true. It is. This is exactly like 2020. <laughs> what does the card do? Discard one card. And then enemy Sweet. patrol appears from the darkness. It is at ease. Okay. 
boy, I am just getting rid of cards. Like first turn. No cards for you. Yeah, I've already no gone through like, all you. those cards. All right, so an enemy. So it's uh, gonna be two of the ones. Two of the. Oh my gosh. Uh, what do you think? Either way, we're adding like a bazillion people. This is actually really bad. Yeah, this is really, really bad. This is not good, everyone. Not good at all. I mean, this should be the toughest fight, right? Because it's the three, but like, it is really tough. Well, some of these other ones are getting there. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna do this one, which is just make a plus one melee attack. I'm gonna swing again, so I get to do three this time. The problem is like, I have rage, so I can like, the rage is nice because once per melee, I can add two to my total. I can spend one of those to add like an extra two, so it adds like a four instead. Like, I don't need that much. I need to, like, do multiple attacks. And his pistol's not going to do it. Yeah, because it's only got... Vincent has faith. You know what, Vincent? Your faith may be misplaced. <laughs> Three, four, five. Okay, so I definitely have enough. This game does not go light on us ever. <laughs> one is... You, you have the main card. Okay. So if I kill this one and I use... This is an alien handler. So they get regular loot. Okay. Just regular loot. Yep. Oh my goodness, I cannot like stop yawning today. There we go. All right, well, I did what I could do. Now my turn is well, over. I each got a couple of handlers. They become alert. Which, at least that means if this guy gets killed, then, then we'll be able to take out those acid these. spitting jerks. But remember, those handlers were going to add their abilities to this. So those handlers were going to actually add like an extra... Like plus three to these. So that's good that we got them out of there. So they would have added like a Overall, plus six. It was a good move. Overall, it was a good move. Okay. Yeah, we don't even have so, to roll a bunch of uh, crazy dice this time. But do you want to do Bachak Bolchevich? Bolchevich. Bolchevich. Maybe that's it. I don't. That doesn't sound it's, right. It's definitely <laughs> a Russian name, right? B o c h k a. Okay. Well, Bolchev yeah. Bolchev okay. Audience. Bolchev okay, everyone. How do you pronounce this? I'm going to need some phonetic spelling down <laughs> in the chat. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I'm going to do. I'm going to use this character. Okay. Because he can move. He can do some crazy stuff. Okay, so good. He's going to do Fun Mother Russia. Discard two of your permanent wounds and move two. And then make a two. So first he's going to do a basic move. And then he's going to use this card and go one, two, and move in here with him. So that's good. Okay, good. And he has a plus two melee attack. So for my, my melee attack... Does it feel weird moving him while he's still sitting on an oil barrel? Well, no, he's got some really weird ones he that are like... He just moves his oil barrel one of them is goes, One of them is barrels in. of fun, which like lets you blast off for two, <laughs> but it does damage here. So I think I didn't want to damage you to do it, like blow oh up this portal, kill gosh. you in order to do it, right? That's I thought, awesome. I thought that was bad. That's barrels awesome. of fun. He rolls five die. So my guys can hit hard, but they're like single target hitters. Okay. It seems like, so... <laughs> All right, well, there we go. That's still three. So that's uh, so it's already at three. And then I guess I would just probably do, like, another attack. But he's got armor piercing. Oh, kavish. May damage an armor target. An armor target will inflict two wounds. Oh, yeah, so he'll definitely kill anybody. There's no avish on it. It's just... It's a K-A at the end, Vincent. <laughs> I have to attack the... I have to actually attack this... Um, Officer first. Who's got three? So yeah, he kills him with that alone. Okay. So I can actually kill Officer. What does Officer drop for loot? Uh, yellow. He's the yellow one. Or gray. Okay, so just regular loot? Yeah. There's going to be lots of loot here, so that's a bonus. Loot, 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 loot. I didn't loot, expect to have to fight loot, this many loot, people loot, at loot, once, loot. though. I'm like, what's this loot here? You can't look at it? Oh, I'm sorry. What are you doing? I thought this was one that dropped off of him, but I guess not. Don't be crazy. All right, so that Officer's dead. Look right. at me trying to cheat right there. Oh, that's the flavor text. <laughs> okay, we'll call him Bochkovich. Bochkovich. That's Bochkovich. what I thought. Bochkovich. <laughs> All right, so I went in there. I killed the one. I need, like, a way to attack everybody. Make I a need a two. way to stomp on these, like, alien worm creatures that look like centipedes. Okay, I think I can actually... I think I should have used that before. Whenever you feel safe, too, you're like, I'm just going to go pick up some loot. Like, because I don't want to trigger anything else crazy to happen. We want to, like, end this round on a good note. 
then you pick up loot and then it's like you have 10 noise and you're like oh great so everything bad happens now <laughs> his mechanical arm does make one noise though does it yeah so check the noise to see <laughs> one noise one noise or like roll three other dice add three to your total <laughs> wow thanks <laughs> thanks for that did i not call it <laughs> all right i only got three total all right it was eight uh so we don't do any of this this is good Ooh. All right, I, so that I was called that. His was, mechanical arms was like, zzz, 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 zzz. like was, just punching things. Crazy. That was crazy. All right, so I should have done this barrels of fun because I thought like blast out of there and then do like an armor piercing wound to everybody in that space. So but that would have gotten rid of all three of them. Oh, Bjorn that's true. Too. Bjorn, and he would take two wounds, so that's but pretty big. We are gonna go down on this track here. Hold on, I'm not done. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> like I know, I have to like do this right now. It is the burns, the venom burns. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna do this one. No one expects the Spanish Inquisition. I'm gonna do no retreat, which is going to let me go ahead and do a uh, move and an attack. I'm just gonna use the attack portion of it to do another. If melee. I move, you're just gonna like do a sweet dance move, and then you're gonna attack. That's what you do if you need to move in one spot. What game are you playing? <laughs> Do you feel like this is a sweet dance move time? Like It is. If you were going to go ahead and bust up some aliens, you'd be like... And then you'd be like, pew, pew, pew. Oh, wow. Right? This is actually pretty bad. These can actually only be wounded by spending a star no. result. No. No. Because they're elusive. These yep. aliens are terrible. Hey, one I got of, one. One out of ten would not come here again, all right? <laughs> hey, I killed one, though. I can spend that result, so this one dies. Are you doing okay over there, princess? I had some coffee just before stream went on. <laughs> and, like, anything else? Just coffee? I had a frappuccino, so it was coffee and lots of sugar, so... Oh, okay. It, you was, are... it was the full chemical treatment right before stream. <laughs> you are wired. <laughs> And I would technically have to make a one die roll for noise, which is oh, three. Oh my god, how do you... His arm is super I noisy. I don't even know how you do this every time. It's a noisy arm. Discard two cards or add two to your total. I'm gonna add two to the total. Two dice. Just don't get a ten. Ah, oh, got a nine. You know what? That's the maximum you could get without that exploding works. dice. And so we're good, we're good. Ooh. We don't have to do anything. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I could just do a basic attack, still with my arm of super loudness, but I just have to hope that I roll a star. If I don't roll a star, it's just kind of like a waste. Or should I try to draw two cards and hope that one of those lets me do an attack? Two cards. All right. <laughs> well, that let me re-roll. Make but no a attacks? plus one lethal melee attack, so I'm gonna have to use that one. All right. So I'm gonna use mech and effort. Mech and, oh, instead of like make an effort? Mech yeah, an effort? Yeah, mech an effort. Wow. We got a mech an effort. I'm gonna mech an effort over here, guys. Stop making mechanical arm puns. We get it. You're a robot. <laughs> like, we're really watching that one die. Woo! Well, we have to, I have to. I'm spinning between like nothing and something. I still have to make a, a, a star thing, though. No, Dr. Glory Hog, no. I only have armor piercing, so it doesn't do it. No, Dr. Glory. I don't have a way to do it. I don't have a way to give myself an automatic star. Boy, that's lame. That happened. Okay. There's nothing we can do about it because it has to be a star in order to kill him. All right. Well, that happened. All right. So we would go to <laughs> the enemy turn now, right? So need some oil to there, Tin Man? Yeah. If you oiled your arm a little bit better then we wouldn't have so much noise happening here on, on the table, okay? <laughs> you need a power loader to sort out any nasty aliens, apparently. That would be really nice. Oh, but it, this is a plus one lethal attack, so I can reroll blanks. Oh yeah. Come on, star. Oh. Is it just one time? Yeah. For once. all, all your it. stuff is once, yeah. All right, well, it was still, it was still almost That was a good a try, that was a good try. All right, now I have to do my one noise attack. Which no, noise, no, no noise, no noise, no noise. That was silent because I missed. It was just <laughs> <laughs> very silent. It's very silent. So now we go to the enemy's turn. And yes. You said anybody who's alert would attack, correct? Yes, but first we go down one. That happens immediately. Immediately, because they are okay. now they're alert. It's at the beginning of their turn. Goes down one. Now they get to move. 
which they're already in melee range, right. and then they would go ahead and do an attack. So he would attack for four. Mm -hmm. So no dice or anything, just items four. Items may not be used on defense tests against it. Okay, so I can't use any items, but I roll two die to try right. to defend. And then I could potentially spend cards there if I need to. Okay. That is an excellent dice roll. <laughs> for noise! Not for defense. What the heck, Dr. Lori Hogg? Gain one, gain one black die on unarmed test and one green die on defense test. I get an extra green die for defense test. Okay. That's two. That's two. And I needed what, four? Yeah, you needed four. I'll use untouchable. I'm untouchable. So that gives me a star, which then would be a four. Right. So plus you... I could roll a die, so I'm able to actually block that. Okay. Cool. I went through like a did, lot of cards. Did you want to roll a die in case you want to use like your implants for anything? What do your implants do? No, the implant is I can spend a star. So mecha implants is once per defense, spend to add one die to your total. If defense fails, draw two wound cards and choose one to apply. So it lets me do like the same thing, but lets me basically do like an exploding die with defense. And then I can also use, um, I can pick a wound if I fail. Okay. So it's actually not worth it at this point. The strong was better. All right. All right. Let's see here. So really, you have to still get over there and kill I him. I still have to get over there, and the problem is I don't have any cards that allow me to move. So I'm going to have to draw with this. You don't have any cards that allow you to move? I don't have any cards that allow me to move. Oh, man. That's why I was like, no, go first, go first. Oh, no, wait, hold on. No, this is all enemy units in the same or an adjacent area move to... To another area, but you're not close enough to see into them. Into another area. You don't have line of sight on them. Yeah, in the same or an adjacent area. So I would actually, I would still have to be here. That's the problem. Draw cards. Yeah, I'm gonna have you to draw, draw three. Cards. I do get to draw three though. And then discard one. Hopefully, you get some movement cards in there. I have plus one to a basic move. Oh, Two this barrel is a fun. Does a big old explosion too. That's not good. You got two basic moves. I do. They're gonna. So cause you'd, you'd noise, move, though. Well, that's all you can do. But you'd move three for that, at least. Because it adds to your basic move. So you would do the basic move, and you'd move three. One, two, three. You'd be in melee range. Or you can only use one of them and be within shooting range if you want to. You have, okay. You so have that me. was one action for me. Mm -hmm. The second action I'm going to use, and then I'm going to have one to my basic move here. So, you're gonna so shoot. I can at least be in this range here. I want to make sure in which one I want to use here. We'll figure out if you want to do melee or ranged is the big thing too. Because does your melee weapon do any extra? Like what does your melee weapon give you with precise? Is that going to let you some maybe get like a chance at a star? Because if you can't get a star, you're I not going to kill it. precise and I get double tap and versatile. Which double tap is once per an attack I can spend to add two to the total. That doesn't really matter. Right. What about precise? Versatile. I can make ranged attacks in any range. And then precise is... Uh, in all attacks, each blank will be added as a hit. So I don't have anything special. So you need one of those. Which one's going to let you roll the most die out of the two? Or do you have a way of like giving yourself? I can give myself dice. Okay. I'm just going to be making a whole bunch of noise though, because I'm I'm doing one right now. He's the traitor. <laughs> Doctor Glory Hog, are you the traitor? Is that why this is going so well? Are you the traitor? <laughs> I just killed a whole bunch of people. That was very untraitor like. All right, that's fine. <laughs> for my one move, for my one move, I get five noise. What am I doing right and now? And you get to reroll one die. And I get to reroll one die. Reroll the three. Yeah. And just don't get an explosion. There you go. There we go. So nothing happens. You're Yay! under. Your noise was not too noisy. It was, it was almost too noisy. Baby noise. It was almost too noisy. So There's going to be some really nice items in here, though, when we're done. Well, you know what? It's all about them items, apparently. Right. <laughs> Listen, I'm just going to say that the game oh. told me to bring out this piece here. So, like, I think, honestly, things could get much worse. If this comes into play, it's going to get worse. So we're not even, like, at the point of being scared. We need those stars really badly. 
Yeah, I think just go for all the extra dice you can. Oh, did you roll stars right now? No, I'm getting ready oh. to roll some dice, but I'm seeing I what I want to do. I'm seeing what I want to do. Because I have some, like, really great cards, but they d and they damage everybody in an area. This particular character was just not made to... like handle a one-off you know like this character is made to handle a large number of people in an area so it almost feels so like work. yeah it almost feels like wasteful <laughs> but i need to take him out <laughs> it would be wasteful for us to lose like three rounds because of oh, one alien it's like the game ends and we're like all right we're done, we're done. that's it that's it it could happen I thought, take these, a, I thought these aliens were going to be that bad, but they are just as bad as the uh, Nazis, apparently. If we take a wound, we get, like, what, knocked over? No, you have to take, like, three wounds. Three wounds? That, three or four. Yeah, it's a lot of wounds. Oh, my God. You don't just immediately get knocked and over. And then you get knocked over, and then, like, you can have people, like, guard you and, like, make it so... Yeah, it has to be a human, and they can, they can capture you. It's not good you. business. You were thinking, like, like we would have to, like, lose five... I have all the five... really bad stuff oh my <laughs> thinking gosh. of already. Yeah. I'm like, why are you already thinking about like five steps ahead? There you go, you got a star. Done. I got a star. Now you just roll for your noise for your gun. <laughs> well, hold on. I wanna I wanna I have to use it in order to do it, so yes. I can't use it for anything else. Okay. Then I have to roll for my gun. Oh, there you go. That's, That's a star. helpful. That's helpful, That's everyone. That's the star you wanted. Ta da! There's there we another go. Star. Keep going. Going all loud. So much noise. And I thought you said I was bad at rolling these. There, there you go. There we go. Okay. I'm sure this will be fine. This you're will at, be fine. You're at eight It'll already? Fine. fine. Uh, discard two cards or add two to my total. You know what, what is I the think total? Seven? You I'm just going to add two to my total. All right. <laughs> There's not even a reason to roll it. You're already over the amount. All right. Get, over it. Get out of here with that. I'm getting all my bad rolls out right now, okay? Remember the Listen, white dice low. You wanted them the dead, dice. and they're dead at a cost. An enemy patrol appears from the darkness. It is suspicious. All right, so if we're all here, once again, from your, where are you at? You're here. So one, two, three. One, two, three. It's gonna be the same spots. This one or this one. Well, it's one. You might as well go up. So then it's three and three. It like. is suspicious though. Well, you decide where you want to put it, I guess. Yeah, put it up there. But you said it is suspicious, so it's already like... But until anything spawns, they can't move or do anything, correct? Right. So it just means that once they, once we get here, which also we can't use our basic moves here, we have to be ready to fight in there, like big time. And we have to go up that way. There's no way around that. So that like is... We literally have to go that way. All I could do. Well, you killed the thing. Right, I did kill the thing, but that's all I could do, like... All my actions are up. I can't yeah, pick anything. Yeah, because you drew up. cards and then you moved. So right, but that's the end. We that's would the end check. Of this round. We check for the enemies. There's no enemies on the board currently. Right. So no issues there. We would then move this down because our turn is over. We'd all draw one Never card learned. if we have less than five. So I'm assuming you have less than five. Uh, Irina does. I need one more for Irina. Now remember, with this tunnel here, we can use, spend an action to discard this tunnel and basically uh, move the round tracker back one. Ooh, that's a good one. And you spend what? You spend an action to do it. Okay. So basically you spend like a turn to do it or whatever. So what do we want to do? Um, pick up those fat loots. <laughs> who, do we, who do we want picking up fat loots? A loots? Nazi alien is an alien. I mean, I think the aliens are... Not, I mean, I think they're just like maybe human haters, but then like they have these handlers and stuff involved and stuff. I don't know. I don't know how it works with the. It's science and tech mixed with aliens. Science so. and tech mixed with aliens. Maybe we have chips in their head or something like that. I don't know now, how that works. The lead scientist that we are chasing is like trying to do experiments and stuff. And he was told not to, but like now that he's on the run from us, our, our past team, now that he's on the run, he's just doing whatever. What a jerk. He's a, a, I mean, you're. An, I mean, he's making this work. You're in a sci So you're a scientist working for an evil organization, and then you're like on an alien planet. Tell me, you're not gonna just do whatever. I guess. I mean, I guess. You just. I mean, there's no oversight. You just do what you want. <laughs> you make an army for yourself. 
no oversight. There's no oversight. Literally nobody but the aliens are watching. What's going to okay? happen? Is PETA going to come after you? I don't Maybe. think so. I don't know. They're not coming through a portal. PETA is, they're they're all about it. They'll go they're after everywhere. everybody. Go, they will. They're everywhere. There's PETA satellites in space, I'm sure. I don't think there is. <laughs> That's what we need is Elon Musk to come save us. <laughs> SpaceX, help. All right, what do you want to do here? Who do we want to go first? Who wants to flip some tokens over? I don't know. I know that we need some loot. So well, I'm in here with all this loot. So I probably one of my characters should probably, probably. do it. Probably. And then we have. Okay. So where's the closest dossier? There's one here. There's one over here. That's and then there's a one very up un here. inconvenient dossier. I, I really want to kind of go up this way and try to tackle these two and just hope that we don't need to check that one. But if we do uh, have to go back, it'd be and so check terrible them. if we go back because these reactivate. I know. Well, they don't necessarily spawn though. They just reactivate. They could be spawn points. If if we go up this way and then this is it, like our game is over. Yeah, that, <laughs> that's how Reich Busters work. You just want a chance at on going to those particular places, right? <laughs> it's like with Reich Busters, you have to make that that risk. Battle Cry just said we could be the bad guys here. No. Battle Cry, how dare you? We have better are we, uniforms. Are We're we fine. The bad guys no, here? look, all their uniforms have a lot of black and red. Those are the best. Oh crap, you have a lot of black and red. Oh man, oh I'm my wearing. Oh god, I am the bad guy. I'm wearing a lot of black and red. Wait, are we the? <laughs> we're the bad guys, I think. Maybe I think we should you're be playing right. the other side. Ooh. All right, well, I guess we're playing the other aliens. side. This is no, this is the other side. We're the bad guys. No, I'm bringing out the shrieker. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna go first. Because you're over here with, like, all hopped up on coffee. So I'm going to take my turn. So Bjorn is going to go ahead and do a two-noise test to try to flip over all these tokens. Seems about right. Oh, there we yeah. Go. Five. Oh, yeah. Just five. What does it say? Six. Discard a card, though? Then you have to discard a card, but it was six. <laughs> Sweet. I have a card. All right. Red top, black hat, evil, evil colors, men mixed together. All right, so I found... Ooh, what's all this? So I found some aliens. Ooh, that, there's a nice little vest in there. You found some alien tech. You found well, a it's box. alien. it's alien parts is what a it box. is. It's not even... So that's adrenaline. So remove a number of permanent wounds from a hero in your area equal to the virile results. So you're going to roll one virile die and then remove that many wounds from your target hero. Okay. So that's not bad. What about this little box here? Why are you asking me? I thought you wrote all these Because I down. love all Didn't the things. All I know down? this is oh, like no. a disguise. I lost, uh, I just lost one of our giant cannon people. It's probably so fine. So that's an ammo box. And the ammo box is somewhere on this page. There's so many different tokens, but it's good. Otherwise, it would just be boring. They're a oh, so they're AP rounds. So this oh, ranged weapon gives armor piercing for the duration of the attack. So you use it once to give that weapon armor piercing. I don't really have a guy that's... I mean, he does have a burst weapon. I think somebody over here has piercing, right? Well, his his hand does it. He's the only one who has, who can do right. it with a melee attack. You can go through like shields and stuff like that, and yeah. bodyguard and stuff like that. Well, not through bodyguard, but he can armor piercing is like if you hit somebody who has um who has no armor, they take two wounds. Right. If they have armor, they can still take that wound. Where normal armor piercing, you have to do two wounds to even inflict one, I believe. Mm, okay. If they're armored, so he and I'm doing it with with Bjorn, so. I'm thinking the shield, though, probably. I mean, that just makes it so he's just most likely the gate. I, I like hit. the shield a lot. That's what I took. Especially if defensive. you're going out in front. If yeah. you're going out in front, you want a shield. It makes it uh, just the shield. easier. His shirt looks rather suspect as well. This wow. is a Maritrash shirt. I love wow. that shirt so oh, much because wow. people are like, oh, what is that shirt? And it just says a Maritrash on it. <laughs> just says I love games like Reichbusters. God. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> All right, so at least my noise... Oh my God, that noise is horrible. I need to not roll white dice. Maybe you we should switch them. You are the worst with rolling. I mean, you're really good at rolling dice. That's the problem. Only if it's high, though. Like, if we're Only playing Betrayal, I've, like, set pips. off the omen, like, on the second turn. That's I'm like, right. Woo! That's right. All the hits. All the pips. If you want pips, I can roll them. All right, so you got a thing. Yeah, I did the thing. So the way it works now is you flip them, and you can put one onto your character. That has changed a little bit. So I can basically... I can move, or I can draw cards... I kind of have those options. I'm thinking I don't really want to like engage any of that right now. So I think I'm going to draw cards because I've only got like one card on me. Okay. And I hate only having one card. So I can make a melee attack, make a melee attack, um, or I can just do plus one to basic move. So he'll be able to like catch up whenever it's his turn to move again. 
So he's done. Who do we want to go second? Should we have him try to pick up something too and then get out of there? Or Oh, this one lets me make all heroes in my tile may move one. So he could pick something up and then we, I can move both my characters out more? Yeah, that's more. probably a good idea. Let's do that. So I'll have him first pick up something. This gets them out of there at least. Yeah, I'll have him pick up something. So what do you think? The disguise, the armor piercing? Like, insanely strategic with where you're moving your characters. I feel like some dungeon crawls are not like that. They're much more like, ah, I just go in here and I wreck things. And like we just tear up a room. But you really have to plan out who's going and when they're going and what actions they're going to use to the benefits of the team to really maximize everything. Whereas, I mean, it just, it really utilizes it in this particular game because you really don't want to get stuff at the wrong time. So he's going to do comrade and they both get to move, but I have to roll two dice because it is noisy to oh move. Oh my god. It's because of that big barrel. Three. It's because of that big barrel you're carrying with you. Probably. Discard one heroic point or add two to your total. You don't have a heroic point. Your thing is six. Yes. Yes. <laughs> that was close. All right. That was close. Yes, a thinky thrash. It's a thinky thrash game. I like that. What do you think about that? Thinky thrash? Thinky thrash? I feel like that should be a, a serious board game term right there. <laughs> Did you flip this one over? No. It is flipped over, though. Because it's up like that. Oh, I wasn't sure, because I, I thought that was loot that that person had dropped. Yeah, that's fine. I thought that's what that was. So, I could pick that up, or I could draw cards. I think I'm going to just draw cards with this character. Because I'm going to finish out both my turns. But, like, my turns are done. Okay. And I'm here. I've done stuff. I've got cards. I like having some options. I hate like having like no cards because then you're just like, I got two basic actions and that's it. So we're planning on going down this way, right? Yeah, I kind of want us to go together, but I also don't want to waste the whole turn to like do Doing nothing. Doing that, yeah. And it's, and it's up to you. Like I said, we can, you can also remember if you feel like it's worth it, you could spend an action just to discard this to move the tracker back one. Right. Which might be worth it because I don't even know if there's going to be another tunnel tile. Like there might not be another tunnel in here. And if there is a tunnel, it might, it might take us here. It could potentially take us here or here. If the tunnel's here, like, that's already pointless because we've already ran through here. Why would we need to, like, go back, you know? Unless... Oh, my God. I've been wounded, Dr. Lori Hogg. Thanks. <laughs> and now you've been crushed. No! I was thinking. Yes. I would move up with this character, start a fight, and then maybe move up with my professor because I have so many of those other cards that do, like, Area stuff, like target an adjacent area, all units take damage equal to the number of cards in my discard, stuff like that. I have, what is this here? Okay. All enemy units in the same or adjacent area move two into another area. And they, well, that's suppressing fire. Hold on. Why don't you just move your scientists up there then to do it? Like, why would you activate this character and give them a whole chance to do something? Well, either way, I'm going to be moving both my characters, but yes. Right. I would do the scientist first, though, if you think the scientist is going to be able to do a bunch of damage, and then this person can come mop up, hopefully. Okay. Otherwise, this person is going to activate them all, and then, like, then the scientist is going to have to go, and if the scientist can't kill them all, then it's too late, like it's over. Right. Okay, let me see here. That's right. That is true. A tunnel on its own is just a hole. That's fair. <laughs> a wild paper cut appears. We'd have to fight him, I think. I think oh we have to gosh. fight Fatal Paper Cut now. <laughs> and then you throw a Pokeball at him and catch him? <laughs> well, so you have to, like, for some reason in Pokemon, you have to basically slap them around until they're, like, delirious and about to pass out, and then you can catch them. Oh. Which seems very weird. You're like, hey, I want you to join my team. Smack, 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 smack. And, like, okay, now join. Okay. And they're like, oh, I'll be your best friend. Thanks for beating me up. I will activate my scientist. I have this card that I want to reuse that I can go ahead and use. Are you cheating? No. So I have a card that lets me like pull a card out of my discard. Cheater. <laughs> there's no card that does but that. But I know that there's one in my discard that I want to specifically use. I think I have to get rid of it from the game or something, though. What symbol does it have? Oh, yeah, that's trashing it. Look at yeah, it. Yeah, after resolving its effects. You have to rip effects. it in half. No, it's not, it's not Legacy one of those style. types of games. Hey, listen, we lost our last mission, and so we lost Sarge, and we lost O'Reilly. O o 
and we lost Red Hawk and Claudia. Was it Claudia or Claudine? It might have been Claudine. So I'm, I'm counting this legacy style. Those characters are dead. We could never play with them again. Oh I, already, I already took those miniatures and I already threw them in the toaster oven. They're gone. No, this isn't going to work the way I think it is. I still need to be closer with my scientist. You got no way to move? Not really. I have one to add one to my basic move, so I can move. Well, if you add one, you're going to go right into here, I which does get you right in the range that you need. So how does that not all work? All right, all right. I'm going to move one, and then I'm going to use this card. It just adds one, so I have to make noise. And I hate making noise. I really don't. It's I really just one die. Really dislike it. Now remember, in order to move out of here, you've got to use... Can't use a, any basic moves. Right, you've got to use cards yeah. to do it. But here you go. Make your noise. I don't want to. I don't want to make the noise. Make some noise. Okay, That's I That's an to. appropriate amount of noise. I don't, I don't want to make the noise. Discard one heroic point or add two to my total. I told you, I don't want to make the noise. But it's got to be a nine? I mean, it's possible. You're making it possible. <laughs> Five. Made this possible Six, by dice. Yeah, Vincent. So essentially, the way we're playing this out, our story, the way it happened to us, is we lost our last mission and everything got destroyed. We leveled the compound and all four heroes died. And the only thing left was this portal. And so then we sent in another team to go investigate the portal to try to find out what happened to everybody. All right, like, give me a spawn. Give me some spawns up in here. You need lots of spawns. Whoa, that, not that one, this one. We need all the spawns. We have, so far we have four Bs. Oh my gosh, so that's all soldiers, right? And one A. That's okay. not a good combination. What's A? Is that an officer? officer? Four soldier, soldiers, one officer. And not a single one of them is a gentleman. All these officers, no gentlemen. Hmm. Weird. Yeah, so the big thing is you can't attack the officer until you kill all the soldiers. Unless you've got... Like, I think, precise, which you do on this character. Because this character can ignore that, I believe. And they are suspicious. Right. So at the end of this turn, they'll, they will flip over. So it's actually not, I mean, it's not fun, but it's not the worst. Okay, so I'm going to use my card here. Do it. What's it called? let me pull a card. What's the card called? It's called Mad Science. To your left. <laughs> Very well. <laughs> I'll allow it. And that's your regular laugh. And very I'm going to be playing this. Regular laugh is very close to Mad Science's it? laugh. Yeah. It's pretty close. <laughs> just one you, one you do more ha, and the other one you just go, you go right into the ha ha ha's. <laughs> oh, thanks. Thanks. Very close. <sighs> Target the same or an adjacent area. All units take damage equal to the number of units in that area. So they're all going to take five. That's good. Is it just a bunch of noise for it? It is just a bunch of noise for it. But on the plus side, since you just cleared a room and you killed <gasps> at least token. four enemies, you do. You get a heroic token. I get a heroic token. Why did you even have me bring those out if you were just going to smash them up? I killed them, them with science. <laughs> Blinded me with science. Uh, Vincent says, I thought the plan was to make as much noise as possible. And then, well, and then orally stun them. <laughs> <laughs> the funny thing too is that it's like we don't actually have like a poster like a poster pre-alarm where like noise really matters but since this noise still does really matter in this because remember how we were thinking oh well there's no post alarm phase where it gets all super crazy but it's just because it's crazy all the time still what did you get for your heroic point uh the anything one Ooh, a special one. one yeah so the thing with the heroic point is you can use it for like an automatic success or you can use it to level up later if we make it. No longer suspicious in that area. Oh my gosh. Six. Just spawn another patrol. Pretty much. Discard one card or add one to my total. It is five, so I'm just going to add the one to my total. You don't even need to roll it. You're oh. already above. Okay. I don't so, know why you do this. So, an enemy patrol appears from the darkness. It is suspicious. This way. But it is one. It's a one. So, one, two, three. One, two. It's going to be here or here. And you said it's a Both one. sides are equally just not good. Does Yeah, really, honestly, it doesn't matter. Yeah, let's make it on the right, I guess, over there. Boom. Ah ha ha. Equals ha ha That's true. <laughs> They're very, very close. 
Oh, my bad guy comment doesn't yeah, seem so see? far off now. Wow. <laughs> Well, you know. There is definitely a certain point in time in this game where you get to the point where you're like, it doesn't matter about the noise. You might as well just start throwing grenades and stuff and then run out. I'm killing them with signs. Which technically we died because of the old rule set. Because we we had one of these like little scuttlers that blows up and he does one wound to everybody, which then blew up another, another scuttler. And that's what killed us. If we play by the new rules, the scuttlers, when they blow up, they don't activate the other one. I'm and drawn, so we would have technically survived. But. I'm drawing some cards. Because we were at the door. With the scientist, and all we needed to do was open the door and walk through it, but we died because it was like, boom, boom, and then we all were dead. All right, so I am drawing cards. I must discard one. We'll discard one. This is like the analysis paralysis character for you. It is. Because you have to make a choice of what to discard. All my choices. And then you're going to be like, what? 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 Yeah, a slight difference. It's, it's a pretty big difference. Honestly. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look yeah, at before, that in a minute. Before, when you were trying to look at loot, you had to roll dice for every single piece of loot you'd look at. And so that was a lot harder than just rolling it once and then flipping everything over and then getting to make a good choice. I'm going to wait on that particular character. The game is still definitely hard enough. Oh, yeah. You're going to wait on that character for what? As far as, like, I'm going through their cards and stuff, because I already did their two actions. Oh, okay. And I don't know if I want to move up and, like, spawn new people. Probably not. You know? Especially with I am guys done. being so far yeah. behind here and done and everything. So I think I'm just going to move up with this character and maybe draw cards as well. Um, something to consider. If we want to get rid of this tunnel, we can move this back Okay, one. yeah. Let's do that. So we, let's get rid of that tunnel. So I guess we fill in that hole or something. And somehow, magically, that makes us have more time. And then I'm going to move up here. Because everybody knows if you fill in a hole, you get more time. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure the logic of that one. I think the idea is that like that tunnel was like a shortcut, and so we were able to like be faster somehow. Yeah, they they released the whole like addition to the rule book, but I think it was like six pages. So there's been a lot of clarifying. I think that's the one thing that will keep people from playing this game. And all the bad reviews I've seen about it have been about the rules because it very it's the rules are not. They'll tell you what you need to know, but it's so segmented. So you'll start learning how to go through the different turns, and then it'll be like, but before you do that, like it'll get you through two points out of the seven. It's like, let's talk about how the rooms work. And then yeah, you go I think to the it rooms, was just poorly organized. And then it's like, once you're halfway through the rooms, it goes, and now that you know how the rooms work, let's see how the enemies attack. And then you go to the enemies attack, and then you're like, I still haven't figured out how I attack as a Reich Buster. And I'm like, and so you're you're constantly flipping. It's like old school like D D books it's where like you had to flip Rubik's through eight Cube pages of, of books of where it's like go see page 38 <laughs> then you go to page 38 and it's like for follow-up text go to this page you Hold go to page 12. it's like a choose your own adventure book except yes. for rules <laughs> it is uh <laughs> it is interesting but i think the but thing is i love is the game <laughs> you can't go wrong by just playing it however you want oh that's true Really, if you I mean, miss a rule, it happens. We to played everybody. through a whole round where we missed a rule, and it would yeah. have been like worse for us. But we've also done another one where we played through a round where the alarm we did triggered. things worse than a, yeah. than we should have and stuff. It equals out. All right, so that is the end of this round. That was everything you I were going to do. Four. Yeah. yeah, that was weak. I only had the two actions. All right, so we don't have any enemies in line of sight, but we did still go through mm -hmm. a round, so this does go <laughs> back down. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six we're more good, turns. We're good. We're good. I say that, but we haven't, like, I say that now. I say we're good. We haven't I'm feeling found good right anything. now. <laughs> but this is probably not good still. <laughs> okay, so I'm guessing you want me to move up some, at least in the general area. Is that what you're thinking? I can move up. Well, yeah, you need to move up, period. Because we still have to get past this, because you have to have a card in order to move past this square here, which is just not going to be good. Vincent says, I have the updates printed out, and I agree the rules were confusing. Yes, absolutely. Some of the stuff that you had to find, just like little things, they were just in some random places, you know? They were in there, but they were in some random places. Like, where do you roll your defense dice? Like, it's two dice. You always roll two dice, but they're not in the area you would think they would be in. <laughs> yeah, it's just a lot of jump around the rule book is, is the biggest issue. So I'm going to start with him. I'm going to do a basic move, and then I'm going to discard this card to go ahead and move two, which will move me through that room. So I'm going to trigger all that stuff, but let me first go ahead and do... It's still one of like the more exciting miniature games, though. Like, or not miniature games, but dungeon crawl games that I've played, honestly. We're going to need to reshuffle those. I reroll one non-blank. 
and it's a three. Ooh, watch, watch me roll get something bad. Oh, I still made it. Ooh, <laughs> that could have been bad. Go ahead and mix that one in too. All right, so I've done one action with him, and now we're going to spawn all the different things. So right. as soon as you're done shuffling that, we need spawns for everything around us. Vincent says expectations are still high. Fatal Paper Cut says on the table usually, and we're what? Oh, on on us winning. Expectations on us winning are still high. Well, that's good. <laughs> We appreciate your enthusiasm. I need all kinds of spawns. Okay, spawns. Spawns, 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 spawns. Three of them? Yes. Drei. Three of the level ones. Ice by drei. So we have one C, which we're going to put over here. Which C is the Ogden? C is the Algen. The I. And then we have a B and a D, and a B and a C. So, okay. So, two soldiers, an Algen, and declining. Oh, really? Declining what? the blue version with elusive, no hands, and virile acid. Okay, so here they are. Where do they go? I'll put them out. You get the cards going. Well, I have the cards here. Oh, okay. Declining. Algen. So decline can only have one card. Oh, okay, okay. But if they're listed twice, it might be because they just want them to show up more frequently. Well, one, they should have different uh, abilities. Sometimes they do, but like that, that one doesn't. Decline has elusive no hands and viral acid. Oh, okay. So usually if they show them, right, like they'll list oh, what they Oh, you know, I was looking them. directly between Decline and Algen, so. Oh, yeah. You did that earlier, too. I know, I did that, too. It's because I'm used to having those, those cards, I think, instead of, like, the big one. Oh. You, you the asked for the good. big one. I know, the big one's good because you can you reference you everything on there. It. I really like you it. You thought you could handle it. <laughs> okay, so, Fatal, that was my answer when I said, where do you hold the defense dice? Oh, yeah, on the table, usually. <laughs> that makes sense. That's fair. <gasps> Oh, I'm so silly sometimes. <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> okay, so since we're here, we can also flip this over. Oh, it's a tunnel! We could have just warped from here to here. But, How dare but you? But like, we would have had to get here first, so then everybody else could have warped Are there. you going to do something in there? Are you going to smack some people around, or was that it? They're all suspicious, too. <laughs> can you calm They're down? They're like, who is this? Well, I would be suspicious, too, if I just saw... <laughs> A random person comes running up. With a barrel up. rolling up in there. Do you think your barrel's on wheels, or do you actually roll it everywhere? I think it's just to look cool as a miniature. I don't think he carries the barrel. <laughs> oh, my dad jokes are like a fine wine. As my son gets older, they get zestier. <laughs> you just get better. As, like, your children get older, you get better at making dad jokes. That's what it is. Now, what did we decide you this does? You have more experience. <laughs> oh, okay, so that is... The what is it? One of the booms. So that's the white boom, and we're operating on post alarm for, for just the, the booms. for just the booms. So you would draw a noise card, and then you would resolve the bottom portion. Like it just resolves. Period. Yes, it just resolves. You're okay. just gonna make noise because you're making a big boom. All right, so I'm still gonna do it because it's gonna suppress this oh, room. Oh yeah, you are. <laughs> well, if you suppress the room, that just makes it so they don't fire on you. No, it makes it so they just skip their turn. They oh, skip their okay, activation. Okay, okay. So that lets everybody else hopefully move up and stuff. Mm -hmm. And then I can still potentially do something over here because I haven't actually done anything yet. Okay, so just remember that's suppressed. Or I could find the token. Or you could find the token. I shall find the token. The token of suppressionness. I'm going to go ahead and move one over here and draw a card. And that's going to make noise. So what I did was I did, oh my God, he did Stalin for time. <laughs> There's some dad jokes in this. There's some dad jokes in this. Oh my gosh, it's so ridiculous. Discard one card, <laughs> but I didn't trigger any, I didn't trigger the thing though at least. Oh, um, but I should be drawing gosh. a card for move one. Okay, so how much physical space does Reich Busters take up? It's mythic, this I is have the, to ask. Yeah, I was gonna say, it's four boxes that are big. Our table, right now is two feet by four feet that we actually use here. 
And the four feet of it, the long ways, we actually have a little bit of table hang because I still have all my electronic equipment over here that I'm using. But this is also the smallest map because the normal maps yeah. have like corridors and hallways if and you, stuff. So the regular base game spreads out way more. If you remember on our first time with Reich Busters, we had the camera up even higher because we still have like a tiny bit of room. We have about like this much room on the bottom portion here. It did take up the entire table, everyone. Like the normal map, this two by four space, we pretty much used almost every single inch of it, you know? So it does take up a little bit of space, but all dungeon crawl style games do because you have all these like modular map pieces that you end up putting out. If you have a smaller table at home, I always recommend putting out the map tiles whenever you get to them for the most part. So you can actually run through the dungeon almost like a dungeon scrawl, you know? And that will help with saving space. Hello, Games of Fire. How are you doing? Five. That's perfect. I'm able to kill him. We're playing Reich Busters. Not, not of this earth. Of this earth. All the aliens. All right. So he's done. I killed my alien. So, oh, but we do trigger all of this now. Dunza. Because now we see this. Which... Is he over there? Oh I God. thought it was just through here. It is. But I'm right there. Look where oh I'm Oh, my at. gosh. I didn't realize you moved there. Oh, my gosh. I was busy talking and what? that happened. What? You were talking? That happened. <laughs> Can you go ahead and spawn me uh, he for here, please? I would rather not. Well, I, I guess you don't not. have to. I don't want to. Also here, you're going to spawn this one here, which oh. is a triple C. What is C? Algans. Three Algans. Okay. That's not the end of the world, except they move really fast. And they knock you down when they move into your area, by and the way. And then two soldiers here. I feel like I just killed a bunch of Algans. Why did we spawn up so many things? What happened here? Well, it's because this area is real bad. Remember, there were three things here. Yeah, but why didn't then we trigger, trigger. I guess either I way it would have been. This, yeah. Done. Either way, it would have happened. <laughs> and then how many soldiers? It was two soldiers. Like the least threatening, there's two soldiers. I'm dreading when Mythic Battles Ragnarok comes to Kickstarter. I'll have to um build a new room for more space. <laughs> a new house, even. That's right. <laughs> This is my gaming house. This is our living house over here. And then, like, this is our gaming house. There was definitely, house there, there was times when our kid was in, like, preschool. That's my recording house. That we figured out that we were spending more for preschool than we were for our rent. So I was like, why don't we just rent out our neighbor's house and let the kid just live over there <laughs> during the day while we're at work? Like, right? what's the worst that could happen? Let them run loose in there. Just make sure all the things are plugged up. Like, all the sockets are closed. Yeah, it's a whole extra house. Just don't put right? anything electric in there. So you have made a giant mess, Dr. Glory Hog. What happened? Oh, I'm sorry. Are we playing on. the game together, or is it just me? You triggered a bunch of stuff, too, Missy. Um, I took care of my triggered stuff. Uh, so did I. I suppressed a whole room. You just triggered, and then you ran around going, woo! Okay, so explain <laughs> to the audience how you would have done it differently. I would like to know. I don't know. I wasn't paying attention, so I can't so really comment by moving, on it. So <laughs> by moving here, I triggered a one and a two. Yeah. By moving here to fight these guys, you would have triggered a one and a two. So no difference. No, because you triggered two extra spaces. If you would have moved here, you would have just triggered one extra space. But there still would have been this one over here that would have been triggered too, because yeah. I killed this one. You shoot him from afar. It's okay. With my mechanical arm, I just go go gadget shoot it at him now. Yeah, isn't that where the nope. the fist comes off and punches somebody in the face? <laughs> no, that is not a thing. Let me tell you, games of fire. What we need to do is just we need to all come together and make a gaming house together. Yeah, okay. I've said that you had a bunch of houses surrounding like a big main house that was basically like a, just a giant kitchen and then a giant like games library where everyone puts their games and stores and stuff. And you could just meet up there to eat together and like play games that's during less dinner. Less money on Kickstarter. Less money you have to spend on Kickstarter because we go, oh, oh, you're backing Rush Busters? Well, okay, that's fine. We won't back it and we'll go ahead and back. Some other game. We'll back Painted And Rail. then you'd have a bunch of random people. So the idea being that if you're in that big main hall, like you're there to game or eat, right? And hang out. So then everyone can hang out. All the kids can hang out together. All the adults can hang out and play games. This is the older community center that we're going to build is the gaming community center. Yeah. Like where... So instead of having like a lame, like um, like where they're playing like Canasta or something, yeah, we'll be there right. playing Reich Busters. That's right. And D&D &D and stuff like that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, that's where it's going. Okay. <laughs> Let's be real. By the time we're like in our 70s, we're just going to play World of Warcraft Vincent, all day. Vincent, you're just going to have to move to the States. Or or maybe, I mean, if we decide to move to Germany, we're just going to have to go to Germany. It matters. It matters how things go. Okay. <laughs> all right. So who do you want to go next? 
All right, I let me see what the professor has here. Let me see. Let me take a look at the professor's card because I have a, a suppression one where I can move them and suppress, which is a good one to have because if I moved here, I could actually consolidate some of that maybe. But I don't know. I can. No, that's a non-feet card. Do, do, do. I could actually move up to where my other character is with this character, but oh. I have to discard three cards. Oh, ouch. Because they all give me plus one to movement, you know? Oh, this is kind of nice. I like this one, but it doesn't work out for a particular situation, maybe. Oh, maybe, because I can move up my other hero. So I can move, move one. A hero on the same or an adjacent area may make an accurate attack. That's actually a nice one. Because if I moved up one, then I could have, like, you make an accurate attack or something like that up there. Mm -hmm. Or I could make myself do it. Do you have any good cards for that character? I could throw a freaking grenade. <laughs> that might be really good. I was, would... I was trying to save it for like the as we're leaving type of situation, you know, like where you throw a grenade in there okay. to clear out. Because it does the it does the big red boom, so it tr triggers a whole bunch oh, of stuff. Oh, okay, okay. So you usually don't want to throw that grenade until you're like, ah, we got to do this. I can make everything get into one space, though, so all enemy units in the same or an adjacent area move to into another area, and then I can suppress that area. Well, I mean, that's always Which good. always good. Oh, but I can't even do any basic moves to get out of there. I have mm -hmm. to, like, do a thing to move. Well, that one right there says move one. So that would let you out of there. This one? Yeah, just right there. Play, uh, the start play at of... the start of the action station phase. Then move one and make an attack. That's oh. the wow, that's bad guys. Card. That's the bad guys' turn, yeah. Well, you could have technically done that at the end of my turn. Do we want to do that? So I can at least get out of here and maybe do something. Yeah, because we forgot we forgot to do their turn completely. Like this should have flipped and that should have flipped, because they saw me whenever I moved, and then my turn ended, and then at the end of their turn they would have gone to alert. Okay, so then I would move one. Mhm. Mm and then I can actually make an attack. Which I think the only place that I can make an attack onto is that one over there. You would, I think, technically, with the flashlight situation, if you can shoot two, you could shoot those Ogden. I don't know what your gun does, though. Is it just one? It's just a range of one. Okay. Do you have anything else that... Well, now you could do a basic... Oh, no, yeah, you're right. You could do an attack on there, I guess. I have to make an attack to finish that card there. Ah, where's the dice? Okay, over here. <laughs> and I think I will attack... I need to attack the soldiers first, or the Algon specifically. You just can't attack him because he's elusive. Right. And the the thing about these guys, when they move, they're going to pounce and knock over people. Remember, you got to spend an action just to stand up. I can try to make an attack on the Algon. Yeah, I mean, he's a five. I'm only rolling two dice, though. No, well, there not. we go. That's four right there, and you get to roll two dice if you want to. Roll one first, and then decide if you want to roll the next one. So you might as well make them drop the loot. Dunza and make them drop some loot. Fat loot. Okay. I like Germany, says Games of Fire. <laughs> Same. Lived there for six years, says Vincent. Berlin for 18 months. Ooh. Okay, so we are settled then. We're going to go to Germany for that community and then build Do it there. <laughs> you think it would be appropriate to play Red Clusters in Germany, though? Uh, I think it would be okay. I mean, as we would as we invite it in specific private. people yeah, in the community, right? Yeah. Like, everyone who speaks English as their native language is Aww. allowed to come play Red Clusters. Aww. Okay, so that was in between those attacks. So now is the beginning of my professor's first turn. Yes. All right, what do I want to do? I mean, that was kind of a freebie, which is nice. Oh, this suppressing fire is out, out now because they're... Right, at the end of your turn, then they would then they would alert. Now they feel suppressive. But I can move them, too. Should I move them, like, two around the corner? And just put them, them right this on area? me? Yeah. <laughs> the, the only advantage of that is I could technically do Barrels of Fun, which lets me move two, and it lets me do an armor-piercing wound to everybody in my space. So if you did move a bunch of people on me, but that will happen next turn. We need to kill them now. Okay. That's like better to like get in there and just like 
that's really good if I get surrounded and then I just kind of like, I guess he just does like a blast off off his barrel. I don't know if he just like lights his barrel on fire and just and goes flying. Because I'm serious, he does launch forward two spaces. So I'm assuming he just launches his barrel on fire and then it blasts his butt up into the air. You're not listening. Yes, barrels of fire. What happens? What does he do? <laughs> You're going to launch a barrel up and then... No. And, oh, he's sitting it. on that barrel that you've dang been talking it. about this whole time, how he's sitting on that barrel. He lights it on fire and then the explosion flings him two spaces. I was trying to decide on my term and I'm so sorry, Dr. Loriog. He's not. All right, I'm going to move... Okay, move one. A hero on the same or adjacent area may make an accurate attack. So I think I might have you make an accurate attack. I don't even know what accurate does. Okay, no, actually, I'm going to do oh this one God. here. I'm gonna, okay, I, I got it, I got it. Okay, so I'm going to draw one. Because I like drawing cards, okay? And How then, are you only drawing one? It says right here, draw oh, one okay. on this card right here. Draw one. And then a hero on the same or adjacent area may move one. So they're going to move up here. Okay. So that is done, and that is at a one here. We're gonna end up killing this room, but these rooms are gonna want to, are gonna be the ones that make us lose rounds. Just as an FYI. For one noise, one noise. Discard one card or add one to my total, and that would be a five. Still risky, but you made it. One noise. Okay. So I did that. Yes, then, use all the cards. Then, I know, maybe. I'm almost through this character's deck at this point. No, I want no. Orange Fanta. No. Or a Manta Ray. I don't know. I'm just saying. I would love to have a Manta Ray also. I almost got killed by Manta Ray. I tried to eat my finger. You're supposed to put shrimp in between your fingers, and the Manta Ray comes up and take it, but that Manta Ray instead decided to bite my finger so hard it left like this big gouge in my fingernail. How? I didn't bleed or anything, but I was like, man, that could have sucked my finger right off. And they were like, yeah, go ahead. Let your three-year-old put their fingers in there. And I was like, nope, she's not doing that. So you want me to move these people into here, right? Is that what you were saying? No, I was just saying the way you're set up to all the things you're doing is going to kill these people. And I'm like, but they're not even the ones that are going to cause us to lose rounds. It's these two over here. But I, I don't think you can get over I there don't and think start attacking there's them. There's no way for us to clear all of them. I know. So, yeah, I don't know. So this is your fault. Is it my fault? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's my fault. <laughs> I'm very upset at you. All right. We're going to have a hero make an accurate attack, I think, in an adjacent if area. If you knew that this was a bad idea for me to do, why didn't you stop me? You're too busy talking about Germany, and then we're, like, all going to die now. Ha! Heroes that enter this, this area, because there's an alien, or because there's loose ground, will get knocked down and have to roll a noise die. Oh, my gosh. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and have... This hero here make an attack in there. Okay. It's an accurate attack. I don't remember what accurate does. Oh, wait, hold on. So I may draw line of sight through, okay, so through other enemies and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, that's the one that lets you. And ignores and meat shield. Right, that lets you actually pick your target. But that doesn't apply to this. You still have to shoot these soldiers because that guy has elusive. Right. So you're shooting the soldier. It'll be funny if we clear out that room whenever, like, they weren't even, like, the room that we were worried about. Either way, we're going to have to look at these dossiers. True. Unless that's the one right there, and then we just find it and luck out and then get the heck out of here. You don't know. You don't know. <laughs> it could happen. All right, do something. I'm going to try to do something, Dr. Glory Hog. If you could do something, I would appreciate it. You should roll some dice. Oh, good job. All right, it's a, and it's soldiers... a good thing I told you to roll those dice, otherwise that wouldn't have God. happened. <laughs> soldiers are... Fours. Okay, so that would be an attack on the soldier. I could roll another die if I wanted to. Dual wielding, I would have to get an eight. You'd have to get four more, right, in order to make sense. So that'd be tough. I think you should probably just kill your soldier and move on. Should I do this here where after I wound an enemy in it, I can make an attack on an enemy in it? Sure. I mean, keep, you might as well just keep going because you're not even on that character's turn right now. Well, since I'm going to use this just in case, because I'm going to use my little blow-up one. Because if I do get, like, a really good one... Oh, no, wait, that was one, that one right there. Okay. And then, after I wound that one, I'm going to try to make another attack. Okay. I mean, honestly, the more things we clear out, still it's going to be better overall. 
Three. That's one shy. So you use either one of your characters have a way to add a modifier to it. I can use my other card here, or let me take a look at my other character's card. Yes. I'd save that one for when it is their turn, because that will help you kill that elusive person. So, so I'll go ahead and use this and add okay. three to that. So that soldier's gone too. Good job. Way to kill multiple people on not your turn. <laughs> I don't even think I've used an action with this character. Well, definitely not this character, because this is all being well, done yeah, by her. Because I used two cards, and then I used the other person's cards on that that were instants. So I think... Go for it. Do your stuff. I'm going to look at this stuff here. How much is it too noise to look at it? Yeah, there's only one item. So you can definitely look at it. Why not just try to shoot this guy? Oh, yeah. Let's do that. Because you can do your ranged attack. I just don't like making so much noise unless I'm picking up you just stuff, keep right? You bringing out more and more die. So there's, I need all the dice. It's I very confusing what dice, is happening. everyone. <laughs> How many die are out here? Schnitzel. I had a dog named Schnitzel. Is that the one that we have to go ahead and get a mm -hmm. star for to kill? Then I'll use that one card to get a star yes. and just get rid of them. Get rid of this guy. There we go. So we did actually clear out that room before <laughs> anything <laughs> happened. So that's actually not the worst. But now it's my got... other character's turn still, right? Well, no. We get to oh. decide who goes next. Either oh, me or sorry. you. Go ahead. But is that character completely done now? Is done all both actions, both basic actions? I don't remember. I know that. Yeah, I think so. Okay. I think so. So then we go to what do we do next? <sighs> I'm so. Hey, hey. Yes. You focus on the yes. game. Okay. What do okay. we do next? We have to move this down one. Because they are alert. Mm -hmm. Then the enemies move up. Which those two won't move, but these do. They move in and they knock me down. Okay. Oh, that was the other thing. I was going to go ahead and try to give you, like, an ability to do something. I don't know. Don't try to backtrack now. You're I waiting. don't know. I don't know. You just, like, played eight cards. You're so deep in the weeds. You have no <laughs> idea what you did. <laughs> I pretty much ran through the professor's entire deck. That professor, it's good that they are able to write, like run through all their cards, but I do have to discard a card out of there that's every how, single time I do it. That's how Sarge is, though, too. Yeah. Kind of where you do a lot of stuff for other people, but then on your turn is, like, you shoot a Tommy gun and then bring on three patrols. When he's down like that, though, he can't, like, get shot, though. He just gets... When he's knocked down, he's knocked down. He doesn't get wounded. So they just hang out, like, But hungry. if another... If one other person went into that area, then he would be, like, a guarded figure and couldn't get up until... We made that... We, like, we relieved him in some way. Either moved a hero into that square or made it so there were less bad guys in that square, so... So, grats, but not really. <laughs> right? We don't All have right. any good German restaurants around here. Same here, Games of Fire. All right, you. Who's next? Am I going to go or are you going to go? What would you like to do? Well, first, so, these guys are saying don't shoot then because, oh, so, so now we're, once again, we're doing this incorrectly. Not once again, but these would shoot first because they are higher up on the priority list. Yes. So, they would have done their damage. So mm -hmm. they, would have, they would have shot, what, four plus an extra two? two. So six. So I have to beat a six with this character before he gets knocked over. Yes. Because they do activate first. And I got two. And then what do I have on this character? Anything good? Mech implants. I can't use that. Strong doesn't let me roll an extra die. I don't think I'm gonna. Oops. Ooh. All right. So strong says gain a blank. So gain one blank or black die on unarmed test and one green die on defensive test. So a two, so three, can... four. I could do an. Or I could spend it for... Focus! I'm sorry. I'm oh, sorry. No. That's so close. <laughs> I know. It was so close. Oh, thank you, Vincent. Thank you. I'm still going to get hit. I'm going to take a wound. I was so happy to, like, not have it... To actually get a cut. I was so excited to get a cut. I was, like, I rolled a five. out of my mind. That's terrible, Dr. Glory Hog. I am sorry. It's not terrible, but I have to take a wound. So give me a wound card, please. And it says, discard one heroic point, which I don't have. Um, if it was six, then you would have that extra thing happen. How does that work? If it does six more? I don't remember how wounds work. No, so it's the same as, like, if you had an, an abundance of wounds like that, then you would get that. Okay, so just nothing happens? Right, then? because you only, you only, you mitigated all of it. You only had one. 
Okay, so if they, would have, if they would have had six go through, then I would have gotten right, the bottom part. Right, Then okay. you would have had lots of really bad stuff happen. Okay, so I just have some slightly blurred vision, but then these guys come in here and they knock me over because they're next on the list. And you move that down already. So all their attacks have been done at this point. So now it's up to us to decide what we want to do. So Bjorn could probably make it up over here. I don't know if he has enough to really like... He's really good for one-on-one -on -one type stuff, you know? Who is Sard? No, B Bjorn. Bjorn Sard wow. is dead. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to bring it up. I didn't mean to bring oh. it up. I know, I know. I'm like insanely like. What is your deal? I don't know what my deal is today, everyone. Ready? <laughs> oh, I'm gonna refocus her. Are you back? <laughs> Are you back? Do I need to like throw water on you or something? No. Is it don't hot do in here? That. You'll melt. It is a little warm. It is a little warm. <laughs> we need to make Doctor Glory Hog plushies. <sighs> All right. Oh, that would be the cutest. Hey, you focus. I would, You're I would losing it already. Sleep with Dr. Glory Hog, like a Dr. Glory Hog plushie, and have Dr. Glory Hog there. It'd be super awkward for him. <laughs> right, I'm going to take my turn because okay. I don't know what you're doing. You take, you take your turn. Well, I don't, I'm getting the Reba boot. Push the button. <laughs> I don't know what your deal is right now. I love you, but you're crazy. All right. <laughs> So I'm gonna spend three points here to make to add three to my basic move. So it's gonna be one, two, three, four. I'm gonna move all the way up in here. Oh I think. yeah, get um, up in there. But I have to roll three die because, okay. like, yeah, I still have to roll three die because that was a lot of movement. I guess the whole time he's just screaming, he's just like Odin, 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 Odin as he's running, right? I think that's what you think was really saying. Probably. Actually, not too noisy. Don't be that star nope, that you're it close is. to. It oh, is, yeah, yeah. It is. That's six. What do we yeah. got for the thing? And discard a card. Four. An enemy patrol appears from the darkness. It is at ease. Well, at least it's at ease, right? And is it a one? From enemy? the darkness. It's two ones. Two ones. So that would be. It's sniffing Viral, probably. Not here. <laughs> one, two. <laughs> Those marketing tips are paying off, Fatal. That's an excellent idea. We just need to get one of those made. <laughs> I'm going to put them here because, well, I guess maybe not. I guess this would technically be just as far. Yeah, one, that's two. probably a good idea. Yeah, put them down there. Uh, yikes. We don't like that area anyway. We're not going that way. Hopefully. Never. Ever. Hopefully. Or else we're going to be real sad. I think I just do like basic attacks or should I try to draw cards? But she's at his like last two cards. Give him some pew pew pew. Draw cards. Just kidding. Draw cards. Play when enemy unit activates or enters your tile. Move one. Make a plus one attack. Oh, that's kind of nice. Low, tch, low key Loki is one of his cards. Low key Loki. <laughs> so somebody comes in and he's like, hey, yeah. So he can move and make an attack. He does have a star that has a star. I think I'm not going to actually attack with these cards at this point, though. Okay. Because they've already activated. God, this is so bad. But we're going to lose a round right now, too, because we have alert enemies. Yeah. And now they'll all shoot and attack me because I have a standing up character there. Yeah. Uh, okay. This is bad. All right. What I'm going to do then is I'm going to actually use this card. Just swing that axe around like in a, like a helicopter. That's not how axes work. Oh. You know that, right? You can't just be like, <laughs> and then just murder stuff. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and move one and then make an attack. All right. And that is Battle Lust, not Battle Cry. Very different. Yeah, it's a little different. And he's going to use his axe. So for his axe, it's two die. I'm going to attack on this one. Look, I moved past the soldiers. We're fine. <laughs> We're not actually looking over there. <laughs> he slid through them. So that's enough to kill oh, the soldier that's and nice. drop loot. That's nice. Now, what does Rage let me do? Once per melee, I spend to add two total. So, like, that doesn't help me. All right, so I'm going to kill him. We're going to add Give a Give him the axe. Here's, like, the best part, though. Like, since okay. I moved into here, I yes. slipped because of the what? unstable ground. Oh, yeah, that's right. Why'd you do that? Why'd you slip in there? I wanted to kill somebody. <laughs> he went, He's all about Valhalla, right? He's got to go in there. All and... right, all right. <laughs> that's... <laughs> All I'm picturing is him like, running through going, Odin, 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 Odin. Right. That's what and then he's he goes doing. in, he like swings his axe, and then he's like, whoop. Yeah. <laughs> and like falls over. That's what he's doing. <laughs> I don't understand why you're saying that. What's wrong with that? Oh like, my what he's doing God. is like as he slips, he's like, he's like, 
and he like and sticks he it in the soldier. Accidentally, kills no, him. it's not accidentally. Oh. As he's falling, he, you need to not talk to my characters. As he slips, he just sticks an axe in the guy to try to like stop himself, like you would if you were sliding down a mountain. And he's just like, huh, nope, and he falls down anyways. But he's just like, kind of like. Got one. I'm going to say that was an accidental. That was like whenever you roll the 20 by accident and you get like the, you get a critical hit and you didn't mean to do it. You were carrying a pencil and you I get a crit. I 100% always mean, always mean to get a critical hit. I always mean to get a critical hit. Why would I not mean to get a critical hit? Hey, what's up, Jimmy? Uh, I always mean to get a critical hit. Why would I not want that? Uh, it's, yeah. Listen, you need to calm down. I'm sorry. Okay, so oh my, my character's gosh. turn is done. So we have alert enemies. So you said we would move this down. So we only have like three more rounds. While you're over here giggling it up, oh, we're gonna run out of rounds. You know, I'm gonna come in here. I'm gonna save the day. I'm gonna save this day. It's gonna be fine. It's we gonna be fine. We do attacks, <laughs> which you said they don't get shot if they're on the ground. So would he move forward then over here to try to shoot? He oh, I guess that's right. That's right. And so then I'm gonna shoot at who went last, which wow, would have been her. Oh, it's the professor, dude. So roll your defense die, dude. Roll your defense die. The pro Why you gotta be like that? Why you gotta be like that, soldier? Huh? Why you gotta be like that? <laughs> oh no! Take your wound. Oh, you can't do anything, too. I think. Yeah, I could have countered. If I could have countered, that would have been nice, but. You don't have any My cards? My professor was really... Did you spend um, all your cards earlier? Let's not unwisely? talk about that. All right, why don't, you grab, why don't you grab your wound? How about you focus enough to grab okay. your wound? Right. Discard this... one card or drop an item. Do I don't want to do anything like that. Do you have a card? I think I do have one card left. Where is it at? It's probably it's right on your character mat. I'm going to... Yeah, I'm going to drop this card. Okay. You don't actually have a choice, but I'm going to say, yeah, that's what you're going to do. <laughs> no, I'm going to drop it willingly, okay? Okay. This card was dropped willingly. It was on my own. What was the bottom of that card? Because you also got the rest of that wound. Because um, you didn't block anything. It was. Um, I, my senses was have been dulled. Six? Oh, you're fine. Because they only did four to you. Okay. You lucked out. What do you mean I lucked out? You're what do you mean I lucked like, out? What's going on? How do you sit out? Whatever. Whatever. What year is this? Whatevs. <laughs> <laughs> Doc, what year is this? All right. You're no Marty McFly is all I'm saying. Whatever. All right, we got this. We got Michael this. J. We Fox got is this. an American this. hero. All right, I have my one person here. There's a lot of people over there. Have you ever been a werewolf and then also went back in time? Michael J. Fox <laughs> has. Michael J. Fox wow, has. I like everybody calling me out in chat. Like, Gorehound is losing it big time. Yeah, I don't know what's <laughs> thanks, going on. Thanks. <laughs> it's not like you've ever never had coffee before. You have coffee every day. I do. It was, Sometimes twice a day. It was the caramel frappuccino. It was the combination of caramel. You get those a lot. And coffee. No, I don't. You get it at least once a week. I just get the regular, like, no sugar latte, whatever things. They're delicious. They're delicious. I'm going to draw some cards, guys. Do you want me to go onto your Starbucks app and then we cards. can talk about how many times you've gotten a caramel draw latte? Are we playing this game or are we talking about lattes? <laughs> I don't know what you're doing. Right. I feel like I've pretty much just carried this team. My shoulders <laughs> are so sore from carrying oh, this no, team. No, no, no. Okay, so chat, who has done the most damage in here? Because I feel like that oh, my you've professor... You've done some damage. My professor has cleared out you've done quite some a damage. few rooms. We lost 32 rooms. subscribers since this started. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. All right, so uh, play after I wound an enemy unit, make a plus one attack, which is always nice. I can make a ranged attack on two enemy units, which I think I actually will do that. Let's do this. Ranged attack. Two enemy units. Apparently, Sugar, Jim, plus apparently. caffeine, plus cat. Giggle fest. <laughs> I don't know what her deal is. People are like, hey, I, mean, I ate sauerkraut once, and she's like, sauerkraut? <laughs> I don't laugh like that. That is basically that. how your laugh is. It's pretty close. I don't. No, my laugh was, we just, earlier in chat, we all agreed that my laugh was very evil. It doesn't sound like, <laughs> no. Like, that's it's like a bad. hyena and like an evil witch, that's like laughing bad. together. That's just bad. All right. Let's roll these dice. And I'm, I'm surprised using... you remember that we rolled dice. <laughs> Precise and accurate. I think one of these lets me, like, so each blank is going to add a hit, and okay. So you're at four. I'm at four. That does, does kill, kill the soldier. one. And this is on two enemy units, so I can go ahead and attack again. Are you who are you shooting at? The soldier that, or I was one shooting of the... At the soldier? So soldier first, and then now I get to make a second attack on this. 
I wanna know if we're gonna hit this, like, are we gonna luck out and find that dossier? Or are we gonna hit like that big shrieker so. and die? Here's the bad thing. If we move from this location, then these people are gonna respawn over here, everyone. So no, they just mean Yeah, that because we lose line of sight. If all of us move over here. It means that a patrol can spawn there. They don't just respawn. Oh my god, I don't want any patrols spawn over there. Oh. Come on! My impression is my impression <laughs> of your laugh is 90% witch and 10% sad. <laughs> She has worn out dice by shaking them too much, Vincent. It's true. The Algans... They just turned to dust. ...are fives. So that is not helpful. And... Spend a card. Spend a card. I kind of want to spend a card. Kill one of them. Do something. Dang. Mm, okay, we're going to have to like do this one by one. So... I feel bad doing this, though. So three, four, five, six, seven. That kills one. And that kills another one. Okay. And then I can go ahead and play after I wound an enemy unit. I can make a plus one attack on there. Another one of these. I'm using all my cards. I'm gonna have nothing left. Oh yeah. That just saved our butts. Oh yeah. Oh my god. I'm so excited right now, everyone. So with oh dual wields, you're at three, oh four, five, god. six, seven. You do need to still roll more die though. You're at seven. What are the what are they at? The Yoggins? They're at five. You need to actually still I get have three deadly. More. What does deadly do again? So once per an attack, I may spend one star to add three to an attack total. Oh, so that would put you at three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Perfect. Do that. Okay, I'm gonna do that. I'm and gonna... so then with your dual wield, you can shoot both of them for five. Pew, pew, pew. So you did clear out more than four enemies. So I'm just gonna say, who saved everybody's butt today? I wish you would not say. <laughs> who was that? Uh, that was yeah, that was Irina here. Got all them stars at least, up in here. At least you're humble. That's the good thing. I'm glad that you're so <laughs> humble. It's like I didn't actually do anything in the game. I just followed you apparently or something. Is that what happened? And you know what? I still have some actions left because I just basically like used all my cards. So I'm gonna draw some cards here. I'm gonna draw some of these cards right here. And draw those cards. Uh, did you just reshuffle them? Because remember, you had to discard one from the game. I to don't reshuffle. have. I didn't go through them yet. I have oh, them okay. stacked because I have limited space over here. Yeah, Bjorn had to do that. And then I'm going to. I'm gonna, uh, I want to make some noise and pick up stuff. What do you guys think in chat? Should I... Stop drinking coffee. Is she addicted? Never, I'm never stopping drinking coffee. Should I spend noise to try to pick this up? It is, it's, it's a chance. Everything is kind of clear now. People could get up. Like, it would be nice and easy for everybody to get up and everything. Or should I just, like, chance it? I would just, they will honest, appear in Honestly, an, I would just draw cards since you have, like, so few cards. They'll appear in an area. Well, I don't know. Right now, if we don't move, that's gonna, you got to remember that like it's going to take me half of my actions just to stand up. Okay. And plus, when you come in here, you're going to slip too. It's not like this went away. <laughs> like, it's Maybe just... I don't want to go in there. We're supposed to go in for these dossiers up in here. Got to get our dossiers. I just like saying dossier, okay? Apparently. <laughs> All right, I will draw some more cards. Apparently. Even though Vincent 100% agrees with me and says spend it, okay? All right, so end of round. Let's do this. End of round. We don't have any enemies, which is good. But we do still move down around. So now we got like two turns. Are you done messing around? Mm, no. <laughs> and then draw cards if you are less than. But you are less than, Missy. Wow. I'm going to have to mix up Professor's cards We actually haven't taken here. a bunch of wounds or anything. It's just like we're just going to run out of time if we're not careful. Yeah, definitely. All right, it's time to get serious. It's time to get serious, everyone, all right? <laughs> <laughs> Who do we want to have go first? Uh, I don't know. I don't Let's know. Let's actually let him go first. I was going to say, why don't you go ahead and yeah, go first? Because he'll stand up, and then he'll just pick up this, whatever it is. And that's just like his turn. 95% evil, 5% adorbs. Doc's impression is 90% witch and 10% sad. We discussed this like 20 minutes ago. You focus on your turn. I'm rereading comments. These are good. Hey, my turn's <laughs> over. Dang it. I told you all Dang I had to it. do was stand up and then pick up an item. I didn't have enough giggling time. Jeez. You don't want to have your other person go as well? You just want me to go ahead and go? No, I can go. I just wanted to like converse with you since we are a team. <laughs> Where's the can you give me the two? Oh yes. There you go. So you can stand up and then I can move in here just in and case. And then look at that dossier. No, I can't because Dang I it. had to stand up and move. Well, actually I'm sorry, you're right. I could stand up. 
And then I can see if I have a card that lets me move. And then you could look at that dossier. If can... that dossier is it, and then we can just like hightail it out of here, I'm gonna be so happy. And I'm gonna I'm gonna give Dr. Glor a high five for sure. Um I like, actually can't... three high fives. I actually can't go no. in there. So maybe the high five deal is off. <laughs> Should I just move here and fall down and get it over with? And just hope? <laughs> right? Or should I move back this no, way? No, don't everybody pile up in here because if this isn't it, you can't put all your ducks in one basket or all your eggs. You can't put all your eggs in one basket. How many ducks do you have? <laughs> you know that ducks are free, right? I know. You can go to any pond I and just take a duck home. I don't have enough ducks. Ducks are not owned. You can just bring <laughs> ducks home. I have 38 ducks in the backyard because you can go to any <laughs> pond and just take them. <laughs> Nobody can stop you. Fun facts, all ducks are free. That is Except for fact. ducks in people's yards, I guess. Yeah, once they're in the yard, they're no longer free. And they're already owned. But technically, all birds are free as long as they're not in a cage. You okay. just basically go get one and just bring it home, and it's I yours see. now. I see. Same thing with lizards, I guess. It's not recommended, though. It's not recommended. Why? Leave the wildlife alone, all everyone. Right, I do cards. <laughs> um, but none of these cards are going to let me move and then I do an do, action. I do, Vincent. <laughs> you do what? Okay, what is... Are you, is it my turn? My turn? Yes, I took both my characters. I drew cards because I want to be prepared for the shenanigans that you're going to enact. <laughs> wow. <laughs> All right, what do my cards have here? All my characters are like, discard wounds, but we haven't been hit. We are not having fun, Vincent. <laughs> Red Hawk died and she doesn't even care. <laughs> she doesn't care about Red Hawk. I think I'm going to... If she had a stitch, she would have popped it for sure. Wow. I think I'm gonna move up in here. I'm just waiting for you to stand up and just like up walk out here. of the room, like all casually, like you forgot that you were playing a You're game like, Peace, live. I'm, out. <laughs> I'm like, oh, bye, bye. Where'd you go? I'm gonna spawn some stuff. Spawn, 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 spawns. This became less Reichbusters and more like Trolls World Tour, like really quickly. <laughs> two Bs and a G. So we have two That's soldiers true. and the elite Uber Solidarity. Are you, are you serious? Yeah. What? Yeah. That's like worse than you that's, think it is. You know that, right? Happened. That, that happened. It's the elites? The elite. Uber solidarity. I keep on putting those in the wrong spots. <laughs> what? I am not fizzling at the moment. This will be fine. This will be fine. <laughs> I think that is. Oh, is no. it the big one? No, but it's not great. It's Let's still. Get, can I see this card so I can show everyone? It's still this guy. Like, oh, he's got he a... looks angry. I'm sure that's not going to be good for it's us. Probably fine. I mean, I have a gun. Where did you find that person at? Right here. Just chilling up in here. Right why there. Didn't, why chilling. didn't we check out this one to see if this was the one? We didn't, I... we didn't even have to have that that's... fight actually probably a pretty true thing that's probably you know what why didn't you what? this is why we should be discussing things ahead of time oh my god <laughs> here's all right here's the secret I was weapon ready of, like divide and it's conquer, all right i've but... got i've got a really good weapon here i'm just gonna shake her up and just throw her in there like a can of soda <laughs> and she'll just explode <laughs> over everybody okay all right well this character and two soldiers is... two soldiers i gave well. you two soldiers right oh, here. oh okay sorry Good job spawning those for no reason. This is exactly where the uh, dossier is at. That's where it's hey, at, because there's a boss. A, just so you know, this character needs to be killed. He has to be hit three times, three wounds. In so order to die? Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah, so you're going to have to do three separate attacks that are successful to kill him. Okay. So, I got this. Good luck okay. with that. I hope that this character here, Becoming Alert, doesn't actually get us killed because it's going to take multiple rounds probably to kill him, and we're just going to keep losing rounds. Uh, lethal. That's fine. Lethal. What does lethal do? Can you look up lethal for me? I can't remember. May we roll each blank once. Okay, cool. Play after a wounded enemy unit. I can make another attack. That's always good. Okay, okay. Got I'm just going to start playing the sweet baby Jesus. Sweet baby Draw. Jesus. So tiny in your manger. Please see us through this battle. Wow. <laughs> All right, I'm going to make a lethal ranged attack. She got her haircut battle cry is the issue. So now that she's got like less hair, it's she's less like all hair, wily. I feel like more free. Have you ever had like a poodle or something like and, you go, and, and you go have them get a trim and they come back all spunky? Oh, that's true. I think that's what happened. That's a hundred percent true. You're like, hey, hey, new hair, who this? Who this? Who this? Who this? Come in, come in, come in, come in, come in. <laughs> that 
That's true. That must be yeah. it. Oh my gosh. Oh wow. Are you losing faith in us already, Vincent? Well, I am. Pray I am praying to a sweet baby Jesus. So, little baby Jesus in your manger, so far away. Please, please see us through this battle. All right. I think and. The Uber Soledaten, he has an armor of six. No, an armor of seven. Just kidding. An armor of seven. I was mm -hmm. looking one under. So you just have to do seven to him three times. Not a problem. Get it done. That's probably fine. Right? Probably fine, everyone, right? And he has virile acid, so you can't use defense weapons. So, like, you know, your shield <laughs> that you have, that doesn't help you. All right. Well, it's time to throw down, everyone. Making a lethal attack. Our dog looks so disappointed in you. <laughs> oh, man. That is some sweet judgment right there. He's like, you knew better than to go over there. I want to peek to see if that is the thing or not. What? I want to see if rolling, it's a dossier. If it is the dossier. You're rolling two die to do seven damage? I have other cards in my hand, Dr. Glory Hog. <laughs> Yikes. Well, there's three. And with lethal, I get to re-roll these, right? Yep, once. Okay. Cool. That did not help. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. I literally can do nothing else. <laughs> it is your turn. All right, so the blank does count as a hit, so it's four. So I need three more, right? Mm -hmm. Correct? Okay, so I'm going to use that. I'm going to have three more. So boom, he took one hit. He's got one wound. He's got one wound so far. One wound. One wound. For my next trick. Do that two more times. Fly after a wounded enemy. I may make a plus one attack. I hope you have more of those cards. Like all of them. If you kill him, I will be proud of you. But if you don't, I will blame this whole disaster <laughs> on you. That was not good. That was not good, because that is three, and I'm not going to be able to do that. Does anybody else have any cards that I can use? Can I use my um, cards? You are by yourself. Oh, no. So you don't have any team members. Okay, well, then I will be using this one here and rolling two more dice, I think. Mm, I feel like you're probably supposed to. It's fine, but I think you should be doing that at the beginning. Like, you have to call that ahead of time, but go ahead and roll. Oh, okay, well, I can stop. No, I mean, go for it at this point. I mean, you're already in there all willy-nilly, so go for it. Wow. <laughs> All right, so that's six, seven. So that's another wound. Wow. And then... What's your next trick? We're waiting. For my next trick... You pass the turn. I'm going to move and I'm going to draw one. I'm just going to be like, oh, I just didn't want to be over here. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I'm going to draw a card. Just a quick question. Why not draw one and then decide if you want to move or not? Because you don't have to. And did you roll all of your noise? Because you may, you have noise with that. Did move. I make noise with that one? That one does, yeah. Move and draw oh, one. Oh, the move and draw one? Okay. No, I was going to say, I didn't think my other ones did. Yeah, my other ones did not make noise. All right. So I will draw a card, and then I will decide if I am moving or not. Right? <laughs> exactly. That's what I'm talking about. Saunter away. Just saunter away. Yeah, that's one of your good cards. That was all. I still have two attacks I can do, though, technically, right? You can only do one basic attack. Okay. One and basic one basic attack. move. So, do I move or do I attack again? Because I went into here and I have one thing I left know. that it's I can do. It's only going to give you like an extra die and then rerolling blank. So, I'm going to roll three dice and then I would have access to having. No, wait, I'm, I'm used this one. I've used this one. So, right. I'd have to move. I think you just move. I think so. But oops. All right. Yep, but oops. That's... But oops. Roll your one die for noise, please. I feel like I'm your teacher right now, where I have to be like, okay, okay. did you move your die? Okay. Show your work. Everybody. Show your work. <laughs> On this crap piece of paper, show your work. Roll one die? Oh, no. Don't roll high. That's not the best. <laughs> That's not good. You're at three. Four, exactly. All right, and the patrol appears from the darkness. It is at ease, and that is for two. So it would actually appear there or there. Probably wanted it to be here. Yeah. And it's a two, so I'll grab a two. Well, so. no, it's two ones. Oh, two ones. So, okay. We're going to run out of tokens. 
<laughs> that's, dun, a, dun, dun, that's a good sign. Dun, 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 dun. If we do have to go back dun, over here for dun, this, dun, we should dun, we call dun, it. Dun, We're dead. Dun, 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 dun. Okay. All right, so your turn's done, yes? I hope we don't, yeah. Well, I mean, I saw my other character, my professor. Right, but we need to do the enemy turn. Yeah, do saying. the enemy turn. So enemy turn is... They get angry. These we Step get one, get angry. <laughs> All right, so now it is your other character's I'm, turn. You saunter, if you saunter away well enough, people, they do. They just, they leave you alone for a minute. And they're like, what just happened? Hey, we've got like two rounds, and these yes. guys are okay. going to actually trigger that. So okay. it's up to your, your professor has to come in here and kill all those people. No problem. No problem. I am going to honestly be pretty salty if that ends up being the one we needed, because then we didn't even need to come over here. <laughs> and instead of just going bloop and looking, you were like, whee! Well, what do you want me to do? You want me to go over there and look? No, not at this point because this they'll, these will trigger if you don't kill them, and it'll just we'll lose. That's probably fine. Because we're gonna fine. lose after this turn. We're gonna move down, and then if they are still around, we move down again, and then it means we'll have one turn to get the thing and get out, or game over. We brought in the A team, and they all died. This is the B team. <laughs> They seem like the A team at first, but I feel like mismanagement by their general might have caused some issues. Wow. <laughs> Whoa, I didn't say your name. That's you. You you took offense to that. I didn't say any name. Oh my goodness. Can you believe this dog? Yeah, she's crazy. Okay, so what can I do? Give up. I don't know. I don't know if there's anything else I can do over there that's going to be really, really great. I can try to move a hero over there bum, bum, to do bum, stuff. Bum, bum, bum. Ba -da 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 -da. Ba -da -da -da. Anybody you kind of put over there is just going to probably get hurt because nobody else can take action this round because you are the fourth player. Right. So you'd just be moving somebody over there to get hit. Maybe I'll just move my professor back one over in this general direction right here. I feel like you're not happy with that. <laughs> what are you going to do now? What would Well, or maybe I could draw cards. What do you think? Draw cards or move? You're going to get a free card at the end of this if you don't get over five. Oh, that's five. true. And then I, yeah, no, I think there's nothing else I'd rather do, except unless I want to pick up whatever that is. Sure. Two dice to make noise, right? Picking mm -hmm. up stuff. I feel like you're very upset with the way no. this has gone, Doctor Gore. I, I am just on the. I know that this could be potentially really bad, so I'm just. We'll have to see what happens. He has two wounds on him. It's fine. It's fine. It's not about the wounds. It's about how we're going to run out of rounds. Well, we still have this one tunnel we could use over here. What is this? What is this? We have to get over there and use it though. What is this? I like the look of that. What is that? It's a stick grenade. I'm down with grenades. Except the grenades are loud, which causes... Well, and we'll have an turn. enemy patrol that will appear somewhere. We have that right now? Yeah, because oh. I rolled four. Hmm. <laughs> Fine. You see, it's good and it's bad. It all comes good, and then it all comes real bad, and then it all comes real good. So, target adjacent area, inflict wounds on all units in the area. So, yeah. Inflict uh, wounds on everybody in that area? Mm -hmm. Heck yes! I could just roll up in there and do that. Might as well. But it's going to be that big red boom, I think. Yeah, it is. Should I just do it at this point? Put another one of those green guys up in here. Up here? Yeah, because we I got one from there. Probably fine. Even five like level one people start to get really dangerous when they're, fine. when they're like three or four soldiers each. And we Listen, have I have this grenade there. and it's going to work out, okay? <laughs> this grenade is going to work out. All right, now are you able to move over there? I, I am going to move over there. So give me one second. I just want to see which move card I want to use. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, I'm praying for us. You should be able to just move with a basic action if you want to. Or if you have a card that lets you move, you could also do that because then you would have a basic action. All right, and then what I'm just going to so throw far? the grade, grenade So you in searched, there. right? Yeah, I searched. You should honestly probably, if you have a card that lets you move, you should use it because then for your other basic action, you can do this, which will bring our timer back one at least. The biggest thing is that these allow me to do attacks or, or heroes to do attacks, and I don't know if I want to do that. Okay. Do you think it's worth it? I don't know. 
I'm so confused by what you got going on. So. <laughs> okay, we're just going to move and we're going to do the grenade. Okay. Let's toss it in there. So this would kill everybody in here. Oh, yeah. Now, what happens when you do a big red explosion? Just a couple of fine, some little tiny, tiny details of things. Usually okay. grenades oh, are not the best, fine. but... A few details. They're good, but then they're like also Draw a noise bad. card and resolve the top and bottom. Okay. It's fine. Everyone, this is fine. This is fine. Wait, those are wins. These are their noise. Okay. Discard a heroic point. Aw. Oh. Or what? add two to my total. Let's add the two. Add people? the two. Enemy patrol appears from the darkness. It is suspicious. It's suspicious, right? Mm -hmm. So this was this character. So one. Well, no, that's line of sight there. What line of sight there? So here? Yeah. It's got to be there. We're just not going to go back in that general direction. If the dossiers aren't here, what everyone, level is it? we're just going to leave without them. What level is it? It's a one. We literally can't leave without the dossier. That's the mission. We're basically going to leave without the dossier. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> At this point, I can't even be mad because I don't know what you got going on. All right, so... Make sure you throw the pin and keep the grenade. Thanks, Fatal Paper Cut. Yep. <laughs> so that's the end of the round. We don't have any enemies spawn, so we go down yeah. a track, and then we would draw cards if you're under five. And we reset. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, dun, dun. It's kind of dirty. Dun, dun, dun. Hey, it's kind of dirty that like our way out, there's like slippery web here that knocks you down. <laughs> so you move in there and you immediately fall down and then you have to get back up. Like that how messed up worst. is that? Do you like get your dossier and you're like going, you're like, this is great. We did go. Oh no. All right. So since you're ridiculous, I'm just going to go first. Okay. And I'm going to go here. And I'm going to do a two noise test to see if that's the dossier or not. If the pins are made of platinum, then you can wear those on your finger. It's totally fine. <laughs> I got two, three, four, five. I made no. five noise to look Dr. at Glory one piece Hog. of paper. Add three dice to my total. Dr. Glory Hog. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What did you do? As they say in the Midwest, oop. All I'm saying is you Six, keep seven, setting them eight, up. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. You keep setting them up and I keep knocking them down. So. That's not what's happening. <laughs> <laughs> Alert enemy units immediately attack. If they cannot attack, they move. This is not an activation. There are no enemies, so we are fine. Ba -bum. At least that's how I'm playing it. Let's see if this is it. It's not. Huh. It's not it. What are you hawing about? Huh. Doesn't mean that's it. Huh. <laughs> if that's not it, I'm going to be so upset. <laughs> yeah, if it's back here, we literally will just die. Oh. All right, so that was... Just remember, I mean, I feel like we should have tried to cover all these bases in the beginning, but we'll see. We'll see. Just remember. Just remember. If this turns out good, this was my idea. If it turns out bad, it was definitely Dr. Glory Hong's idea. Okay, I mean, that does sound accurate. Um, I don't think I should move. I think it should be you. I think your professor should go. Okay, so... And I don't know where the second little token is, so might as well just be you. I feel like... Oh, it's right here. We're gonna move, and I do have to roll two dice here to mm -hmm. to do the thing. Thank you. Right there. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Go ahead and Let's roll. look at this dossier. For four. Ooh, discard two cards or add two to my total. Okay, it's not seven. What do we got? It's not it, is it? It's not it. It's it. You don't oh. deserve to live. This is unfair. This is you're so lucky sometimes. I got the dossier. I got the dossier. Now we have to get oh out. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> this is such... I'm going to hear about this for the rest of my life. This was all my plan. It all worked out because of me. I want to pat myself on the back right now. Pat myself on the back. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. <laughs> I don't oh think, my gosh, I'm so excited. I don't think grenade pins are made out of platinum. Okay. I have grenade pins, and if they are made out of platinum, I should probably go get them. Get, melt those down. Melt those suckers down. Sell them. I think I've got like three Do or four this. grenade pins. I'm pretty sure they're not, because that is still expensive. I think okay. they're just iron. I can go get some if you want me to go look real quick in the garage. At this point, we just need to exit with the dossier. We have one round Two rounds which in order to do it, but we do need to like make that thing happen. So Well it is you too. Like you have to exit with it because you have it. 
Right. Unless you can move up and give it to another player that can then move on their turn. So if you have like a way to move to give it to her or something, that would probably be good. If I move, I can move up to and yeah, and then trade it off, yeah. And then she can try to get out. By discarding these two cards. Okay. Any noise? The noise is questionable. The noise is based on the attacks, but I'm not attacking. Okay. Well, that's good. So you're going to give her the item? Yeah. All right. So we're going to have Irene go third, then, I'm assuming. Because as it is, she can get closer, but she's still going to technically not be able to get out. Because she's going to hit this and get knocked down. But if Irene can get over here and give it to It'll him, be like a relay race of getting this dossier out. Do it, do it, do it, do it. Okay, do it. <laughs> we can win. We can win. I can't move two spaces, though. Why not? Irene doesn't have an ability to move two spaces? Well, she has one card. So I can move one. And then draw cards. And then I'll have to draw cards. Please get another move. You've got to move. You've got to do it. Do the move. I don't have. You do, I saw I'm just it. kidding. I have a move. Okay. Okay. Now fall over. Oh, wait. Hold on. No. There we go. This person, then I go, wee. But as you go, wee, you throw the document up no, in the no. air. I don't throw it up in the air. As I'm falling, it like slips out of my hand, and then like you get to catch I'll it. I'll try to give you more credit, it's D, you're it's like, D20 no. rolls here, okay? So what did you roll, like a critical and it's, like a critical fail at the same time? A critical fail and then a critical success. Yes, absolutely. Okay. Critical fail, critical success. Oh, my gosh. Handing off. Handing off the dossier. And Bjorn, being the guy that he is, is just going to be like, I got it. And just catch it casually. Oh, okay. Like, like you it's do. No big like deal. you do. I it's mean... no big deal. <laughs> and then he's just going to go, do I have. Right. And now the big guy. I killed the big guy, though, Vincent. <laughs> one. I told you, it felt like a boss set up there. All right. So I did one to move. I discarded one. And then I'm going to take my basic action to move. Hold on. Hold on. And then I'm going to close the door. Bye, suckers. What? Bye. What? I'm leaving you all no. behind. I'm leaving you all behind. So technically what happens what? is since we made it out, I made it out, then these characters would just draw a line to see if they can make it out without having to fight enemy. If they can, they're able just to make it out. And Can't they are. Get out and then, then like reap all my rewards, sir. No, look at him. Sir? You're telling me this guy right here would not run out and be like, guys, I saved the dossier. He's telling everybody he did it. He's getting into Valhalla. He's doing it. I can't believe we won that. All right. Everyone watching. I'm almost disappointed we won because you shouldn't have won with that shenanigans. <laughs> it was epic. It was so good. It was so good. It was so perfect. I like, feel like I owe. It's so perfect. Guys, I am sorry. I don't know why she was like this. <laughs> Did we technically win? Yes. Did it feel good? No. It did. It, it felt didn't feel really good. good to me. I really? felt really, really good about this. Did you? Have, I knew. Did you have like some echinacea before the show or something? I knew everything that was happening. I knew that that was like a boss battle up in there. Remember, like... kids, if your friends want to give you St. John's wort, don't do it. It's a drug. <laughs> it's a drug. Now, everyone who has watched this, what did you guys think of? this compared to the original Reich Busters game that we were play playing because they are very different setups yeah, actually. They are. So you don't have to worry about the pre and post alarm which is interesting but the fact that every time you, you can't permanently clear an area because right. every time you walk away now that you no longer have a flashlight there things can spawn up there and that makes it very difficult. See I agree. I agree. A win is a win, right? All right <laughs> That's what Kiefer. I'm talking about. Kiefer, we've talked about this before, <laughs> Kiefer. Kiefer McConnell, the next person to be cast for the Highlander. <laughs> um, yeah, I know. I like. I know we won, but it feels so wrong because you were just right randomly for no reason. You didn't. There was thought. There was thought and planning, and you there was a know-how. So lucky. There was a know-how. So lucky. What? No. So lucky. If this would have been the dossier, I, I would have been so mad at you for starting all this. So many cards. <laughs> it's too bad you weren't actually able to get out with the dossier like I did. Good thing Bjorn oh. was there. Hey, him sitting oh. here like an idiot after getting up was really good. Because <laughs> he just stood here like, hey guys, I fell. Guys, and I like I didn't just even tell. Here's the best the part. As Irene is running in here, he doesn't even tell her that it's slippery. He's just like, <laughs> and then he's just like, all right, cool, I'm out. <laughs> I don't even tell you. I just let you fall. That was nice. So that I could walk out with the papers. No, then you're a hero. You know he walks out like, <laughs> I got the papers! 
<laughs> I don't know what his accent would be like. So he's much strategy, so many plans, made six turns oh, ahead of time. Oh, my gosh. That's right. All planned out. All planned out for you guys. All right? Gosh. <laughs> I had a bunch of fun. Overall, I like, I think I like maybe the original a little bit better with like the ups and downs, but I feel like I would almost introduce players to this version before I would do the super intense other version. This one does version. seem a little bit more simplified, like lighter. but the, the enemies I think are harder on this one overall. Because I, I remember wiping so. out multiple enemies on the other one, where this one I felt like the enemies were much harder. And we didn't even come across like, here's some things that we didn't hit. Hold on, let me Besides the camera. Oh, that's fine. Let's I mean, they can see size-wise of what's going on here. Here's a virile... Well, now it's now I'm the wrong way. So here's a virile cannon trooper right here. Which is a buddy just carries four rockets on his head, or and three rockets. this is rockets. a normal person. Yeah. And then here's the Shrieker, which this guy has four cards that you flip through. So, like, when you damage him, the card flips. Then you have to do it, damage him again, <laughs> then the card flips, and then again, and then again to kill him. I knew so, what I was doing. <laughs> there was things out lurking out there that we didn't hit. And we didn't even hit, like, there's, like, a boss guy out here, too, that we could have hit. Like a Viral Master, Hugo, or something. So These miniatures are so, so sick. Like, they're so cool looking. <laughs> yeah. I mean, can you imagine, like, being this this character and then trying to fight this guy? Like, I can't yeah, even. Yeah, more in the middle. I know, there you go. It's always, like, like, look at the size. Like, this guy's claw arm is as big as his whole body. That's when you do the Legolas, where you run up his arm and then kick him in the face. <laughs> like this, just... <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Okay, okay. I'm not going to say that we survived by pure luck. It was not pure luck. It was definitely lots of skill you and strategy You had no idea planning. the document was there. So much planning and skill. Those dice skills. What's up? Dice whisper. <laughs> All right, everyone. If you liked this video, make sure to like and subscribe to our channel we just hit a thousand subscribers i'm so excited we will be putting up a giveaway for the seventh continent the classic edition here very very soon because slightly of that. used only used once only by us. used only used once by us you know came directly from series poll so like super excited sure. to give you guys that and what else do we have anything else planned just yet oh we are going to be putting up a bunch of content that we're going to be doing. We had a fireside chat the other day where we went over some of the games we're going to be playing this month. Right, we're going to be playing... Because we have some really awesome big ones coming up. Jaws of the Lion, which is a Gloomhaven standalone slash expansion. We have a game we're playing with Smirk and Dagger. I forget what the name is that one because you set that one up. Right. We are playing through... Oh In Too Deep. In Too Deep. In Too Deep. Which the will be on Kickstarter Spotlight. soon, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. So there's, I mean, there's a lot of different things. But plus, we just have other stuff coming in that we know about. Oh, so absolutely. So we're excited. excited about some of the stuff that are coming in. Yeah, we're super excited to bring you that. And other than that, yeah, I, I think that's, I think that's it. Yeah. Anything else? Like and subscribe. Tell your friends. Give us high fives. High fives. Get on your mom's YouTube account and make her subscribe. <laughs> high fives for winning the game. High I really five. like Ready? this. Yeah. Ready? We did it. We did it as a team. <laughs> No, as a team, we collaboratively team, won this game. As it was a mostly team. me. It was mostly me. I spawned all of these guys for you. Mm. All of them. Mm. <laughs> all right. And thank you to all you wonderful people in chat and people who make us super great by getting us that 1K on our YouTube account. We really, really appreciate that. And we hope to see all of you guys later this week. We will see you later. Bye. Bye.